Why would you unmute? I don't know. I don't and know why you unmute us. God, you know. Oh, okay. Who wants to hear us? By the way, you know, guys, they assigned me to the friggin' joke, and everybody knows I can't tell jokes. So this is about all you get. Smile and wave. Yeah, that's right, everyone. It's a Blake episode. Go ahead and turn it off now. Uh, we won't. Uh, <laughs> we won't hold it against you. Uh, welcome yeah, to your Hobo Inc. Uh, we are here to play D and D and have a decent time. Probably have some inappropriate humor. So I would uh, encourage this mature audiences only. And our players aren't, but our audience should be. Uh, uh, yes. We have a. Uh, Good selection of players here this evening. Some of the faces you recognize, some of them you've seen a little less often. Uh, we'll go ahead and introduce them here in a second. But uh, <laughs> <Kyle's missing. laughs> <laughs> I not seen it at all. <laughs> uh, but first, uh, if you want some of our merchandise, uh, we have a store. Um, I don't remember all the links. I'm just going to say that they're below me. Uh, so go to our merch store. Uh, anyone have any wearing any? No, okay. See, we love it so much, we don't even endorse it. Oh, we're, no, no, we're not no, the no. Hair, We're I not the hair club to, for men. I love to wear it. <laughs> uh, love check it. us out on YouTube, check us out on Twitch. We have a Discord server nowadays uh, that we love to interact with you guys. If you want to see it at one of the tables, uh, hit us up, uh, Gmail, Twitch, uh sure. twitter any of that any of that fun stuff we're all happy to uh to have new players you can't do a worse job than we're doing here folks <laughs> uh, but uh with that being said uh let's go ahead and uh introduce ourselves i'll start with uh, david uh hi i'm david <clears throat> and my voice is breaking as usual <laughs> uh tonight i'll be playing uh davrin <laughs> original name uh he is a half elf uh draconic sorcerer so that'll be me tonight <laughs> very good uh carol hey everyone i'm carol and tonight i am playing a new character because i thought you know a dwarf fighter sounded pretty good for this scenario so i'm playing torga the female dwarf fighter ha Torga. Very Torga. Nice. Torga. Hey, where that uh, just off my head. Torga. Torga. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> uh, Caitlin, go ahead and introduce yourself. I am Eckley Birdie. I am a rogue, and I have no clue actually how to pronounce the race. So, I'm a bird. Era Kakra. Yep, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sure it too. I, it took me, it, yeah, it took me a while. Yeah, and I have an obsession with making origami, um, bird origamis. Oh, so if you make enough cranes, you'll get a wish wish spell? Is that what you're hoping? That, or it just fills the void of not having any kids. Oh, <laughs> she puts them around her nest. <laughs> oh, no, that, that's called That's some empty nest syndrome right there, guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. There's Heart. probably a tragedy there, but I'm just going to Heart laugh. string. <laughs> Pull. Uh. Uh, finally, Kyle, go ahead. Kyle, who are you? Hi, I'm Kyle. Uh, I get to, oh my gosh. I just realized, Blake, I get to play through one of your one shots all the way through, I hope. I was going to say, you're, you're, you're going to disappear 15 minutes in, aren't you? I, <laughs> you're optimistic, aren't you? <laughs> uh, and tonight, I will be uh, telling you all the tale of Teddy Sod. His skin was pale. His eyes were odd. Ooh. No, no one got it. All right. Let's yeah, go. no, I got it, Mr. Okay. Sweeney. <laughs> uh, gentlemen, uh, ladies, uh, this evening, uh, you, are, you are insurgents. You're, uh, you, you've uh, been living under the oppressed regime of uh, the Howard Phineas Filter Snatch uh, uh, administration. <laughs> Uh, for far too long. Uh, in fact, he's murdered uh, someone very close to each and every one of you, uh, and you've decided to pool your resources and bring him down and make him pay. Uh, the interpretation of that is meant to be death, but do with it what you want. Uh, and uh, we pick up 
with uh, you having just finished a, uh, a, a shopping excursion from your uh, collecting your inheritance from your dead loved one. And the town is yours. Uh, I okay. will say that you're coming. I will say that you you're coming. You're going to be starting in market three one. Okay. Okay. Yes, folks, we have maps. And I'm, I'm, I'm here. To, I'm, I'm here to tell you the story, folks. It's a story about how I felt or snatched. Duh. <laughs> Three. Uh, it's like how I, it's how, like how I met your mother, but. <laughs> uh, so, right. the same story. Trying, so basically, we're trying to take this guy out, and what we're trying to enlist help to take this guy out by any means necessary. So I you, have, you, say, have, you have nothing to lose, everything to gain. I'd say, well, we all should start at a bar because, you know, isn't that where every good adventure starts from is a tavern? Or the well, this, one started, this one started from the market. So if that's any indication. I want to go, well, if we're going to plan, we probably should go somewhere to plan. Okay. Uh, I am going to also point out, be aware of the guard posts on here. This is a tyrannical uh, uh this is a police state. Uh, everyone give me an intelligence check. Oh, uh, dice. I needed dice. I forgot that part. Of course you did, because you always forget. Not always. I remembered last time. What was that? Intelligence? Intelligence, yes. Well, I am pretty smart for a dumb fighter. Uh, that's 16. Okay. I got 13. Okay. 14. Okay. Wow, wait, did I, did I really? David, did David I, what did you have? I rolled a seven. Okay, oh. everyone but David, I'm going <laughs> I'm to assume, because you rolled high enough, I'm going to assume that when you're walking and talking outside of any building, you're going to be whispering. Yes. David, oh, yeah. David is not, unless he specifically reminds me. <laughs> I'll kick him to remind him. So, should we try to make our I, way to a yeah. bar and... <laughs> well, let's see, let's see. Let me see what, what roll to hit. I'm kicking... Oh, no, I don't kick you. Oh, wait, maybe I do kick you. That's a seven. What's an unarmored... Let's see, so seven plus... Well, ten. I assume you have armor. Just my draconic heritage, so... <laughs> uh, I rolled it. Ten to I hit. Wait, no, wait, it's more than that. Let's see, it's proficiency too, right? So that is a 13. Do I kick you? No, you don't. <laughs> I'll probably hit your armor. I'm not trying to hurt you, per se. Uh, I just clap my wings, so it's like... Girl, give, me a, give me a performance check. A performance? Oh, this will be good. Yep. Uh, because my performance is uh, non-existent. <laughs> It's not quite non-existent. Where is it? Uh, yeah, it is non-existent. That's a five. Uh, one of the guards from the nearby post uh, kind of seems to be wondering why you're trying to assault one of uh, the other market goers. And you see him approaching you. Stop hitting me! <laughs> no, kidding. Uh, he's closing the distance rather quickly. Uh-oh. Uh, um, hmm. I'm not really a charismatic force of nature here. This is not my bar. I am not good at talking my way to situations. We could start a riot in the marketplace to start. Uh, okay, everyone give me initiative. Aww. Uh, <laughs> you could have just oh, told the guard I touched you inappropriately or something. Oh, yeah, there we go. Fine. And then okay. you would have been beaten to death. Probably. <laughs> Did you say initiative, though, sir? Big pardon? Did you say initiative? Yes. All right, 16. Okay. We could still roll to figure out what order we're going to go. Wow. <laughs> Talking in. 22. Okay. David? 10. <laughs> and Kyle? Uh, 17. Okay. I had a natural 20 with the guard, so I'm going to go first. <laughs> 
Uh, he is going to use this turn to finish closing the distance. He's going to arrive at your position and he's going to say, halt, citizen. What? What's the problem? I think, oh no, I don't go next. Kyle goes next. And he's going to draw his weapon. That's going to be his turn. Uh, so yes, Caitlin goes next actually with a 22. Oh. I try to convince him that we're all just drunk and nothing's actually going on. Give me a deception check. Uh, I will allow someone to give me a performance check. Uh, uh, I, I, will, I will give someone inspiration if they want to help her. Uh, uh, oh. I don't know, what the fuck is <laughs> happening? <laughs> I got a 16 on my deception check. Okay. Wait, wait, so wait are you, you're allowing someone to aid, which would be- uh, I'm, I'm, I'm allowing aid and I will give them inspiration if they do. Oh, um, I mean, I was thinking because I actually have a, one of the things I bought was a flask of, you know, to hold alcohol. A tanker, like, a tanker. Yeah, yeah, here, yeah, yeah. And I'll take a swig of, I'll take a swig off my hip blast because God knows I need it anyways. Uh, Caitlin, why don't you go ahead and roll again with it to just see if you do any better. I'll also rub my face 21. on these uh, feathers. The 21 <laughs> is going to be much better actually. Uh, and, uh, uh, Torga, you are inspired for, for what it's worth. Uh, oh, cool. And, and for what it's worth, the guard sees you take a swig of your flask and attempts to confiscate it. Hey, you wouldn't take a flask from a dwarf, would you? Well, I, no, well, I apologize. I acted out of turn, he, but he's going to hold his, he's not going to act Honestly, aggressively until it comes back around to do that. Honestly, we're all just talking here, uh, so I think it's fine without the initiative. No open, no open containers, ma'am. No open containers. <laughs> okay, fine. And I cover it back up and throw it back on my... No, 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 no. He's attempting to confiscate it. He has to dump uh, it out. He, he, has, he has to dump it out and confiscate it. No. You're going uh, to resist? Oh, no. I just keep squawking. Squawk, squawk, squawk. You know what? It's a mistake, sir, that you should take a flask from a dwarf. <laughs> it's a mistake that a dwarf should have, one it ha should have one in the first place. How did you afford this? A flask is like two copper. <laughs> oh, the booze? The booze is just friggin' ale, which is a few coppers. It's fermented water. <laughs> <laughs> He takes um, he takes he takes a whiff of it and he are you are you resisting as he's he's violently trying to to grasp it from you. I'm gonna have well, him roll to, roll to see if he can grab it. Can uh, I intervene? I, by the way, I've got a I've got a rather large I've got a war hammer, but it's like it's also a hammer I use at my work. So it's like a like a like an anvil anvil hammer. Yeah. I want to so buy a sledgehammer, but they wouldn't. But there's no damage on a sledgehammer listed. So I, I'm, I, I, we can we can give it any theater of the mind. It has any shape that you yeah, fucking. So want it's to a sledgehammer. Okay. So he rolls. He's going to roll a. Uh, can I call that an unarmed strike? So that's going to be a fourteen to try and take that from you. Does he is he able to get a hold of it? Can well, I swap out the flask for a swan origami? Do I include all my armor you, class? So you're, you're trying to do what now? To swap out her flask for a paper swan origami. While, while, while her and the guard are both holding on to it? Yeah. Ninja give, me, give me sleight of hand at disadvantage. Uh, oh boy, I don't know how you're going to do this, but that's... Uh, 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 uh. Damn, I got a nat 20, but the bad one is a 10. Uh, so. It's gonna be a mess. This you're be basically, a mess. You're, you're, you're seen trying to do this and you're basically face palmed away with his free hand. <laughs> but I got the origami in the other one. Like, 
So uh, the barber surgeon, Teddy Sod, is going to uh, start talking to Eckley and Thieves Cans. Okay. Eckley, Uncle Bob's greased pig got out again. I need you to go grab it and distract it for a little bit. And, blah, blah, blah. and essentially in Thieves Can, I'm saying, make the guards come here. I think there's a guard post over there. Maybe we can find a most wanted list if you distract them and get everyone to leave the guard post for a while. Fly. I start to fly. <laughs> Is there like sand around us or something? Uh, I just, I, I just, I just rolled the C. I rolled an at twenty. Turns out that this this guard was recruited from the thieves guild. Get neck. <laughs> uh oh. So he understood. Yeah. The under comment. <laughs> oh, I'm, I. Sir, I, I honestly rolled, rolled for it, came up 20. I, I was going to give it to myself on an 18 or higher. So. Um, Can I just say, sir, that this all started when I accidentally hit her with my backpack. It knocked her, and she thought I shoved her. Uh, your backpack? That's, I thought your hand on my butt. This no, is he, 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 he takes out his whistle, and he blows it after hearing after hearing uh, the, the, the talk of the talk of uh, infiltrating the guard post and kill him real quick. <laughs> I pull out a scalpel and I jab him in the neck. I fly away. I fly away. <laughs> She's just like, see ya. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep, I'm gonna fly to the harbor and perch okay. on boat. <laughs> uh, give me a... Oh my god, what have we done? <laughs> Oh, Eckley, what's your strength modifier? <laughs> give me Plus a one. give me a charisma save. Just charisma? Yes. Save. Uh, I'll, I'll let 17? you make it. I'll, I'll, I'll let you make it either performance or deception. Actually, your choice. Seventeen. A seventeen. Mm -hmm. Okay, you are able to fly, and you're doing so in a normal enough fashion that it's not arousing the suspicion of the guards in the uh, of the of the archers in the guard posts. <laughs> oh, this would have ended so badly. <laughs> if, if you had come up there looking like a bat out of hell, you probably would have been shot down, and you were able to do that in a nonchalant fashion let's just say and then i hang out with the seagulls okay at the harbor okay uh that's going to take you about 10 turns to get there ah it's fine <laughs> <laughs> well we okay, know where so, to go after all of this <laughs> yeah we, we <laughs> kind of kind of got out of order there so i'm gonna no, bring it okay. back to the order my, my, my apologies that was my fault so uh this is the guard fine. is pulling his whistle Caitlin is taking off. Uh, Teddy is going to attempt to stab him in the throat then in response to that. Yes, quickly. Yeah. Uh, roll to hit. Okay. Uh, 14 plus um, uh, dirty 20. That hits. Okay. You are in the middle of the marketplace. You are, you are in the middle of the marketplace. Yeah, but he knows that I want to infiltrate the guard tower. He knows a little too much, is my thinking. Okay. Just uh, what's, what's, what's your damage? Um, shit. That's what it is. Oh, that, that's not shit. Okay. Uh, that, that, that doesn't take him completely out, but all right. Uh, Torga, you're up. Uh, how? I know you, what... you, and, you and he, you and he still have both hand, one, both have one hand on this tankard. He's no, whistling, I'm, I'm whistling gonna with the other. I'm going to, I have one hand on and the other hand's on my, my sledgehammer. I'm going to release the, 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 the hip flask and I'm going to friggin' Give Tragic. me, give me a, uh, just give me a straight up strength check. Uh, I, I just want to see if you roll higher or if he does. 
Well, I said I'm letting it go. So I, I know. I know. Probably I just rolled higher because that's a 21. Okay. If he had been rolling higher, he would have been. He would have fallen prone upon you. Oh releasing. God, that's true. <laughs> so you, he, he isn't because you, you won that. But if he, if he had been pulling hard enough, I would have, I would have actually rewarded you. I'm going to try to take him, take him so, back. Okay. Out. So now you have, you're, you're wielding your hammer and you're going to try and make an attack. Gotcha. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And if you, if I miss on this one, I'm going to try again because I get two attacks being the fighter. Oh, I didn't miss. That's a, that's a 25. <coughs> Using my war hammer two handed. So I think that's what versatile means. Yes, that yes, that is. And then you roll the higher damage. Yeah, it's D10 plus five. All right, so let me find a D10. This way. It's gone it's to shit it. already. <laughs> Oh, it's there. called murder. Oh, I, I, before, folks, before we started, I said there are three. There are three or four very easy ways to accomplish this, and an infinite number of difficult ways to accomplish this. I like. <laughs> they, a they've chosen one of the difficult ways. ways exactly. I like, like a challenge. So let's let's do it. All right, that's thirteen points of damage. Okay, thirteen. So yeah. subtle is not Torga's middle name. No. <laughs> no. Now, do you still get another attack because you connected? I, if he's still up? Uh, these are veterans. Okay, then uh, I, I don't remember how many hit points they have. Yes. Uh, I, 98. Well, he's, that's a nat 20. Okay. Uh, I, and uh, we'll, we'll do typical crit rules, so just re-roll your die. Yeah, roll twice and yeah. add your uh, modifiers yeah. once. Uh, I'm not even using, oh, I guess I should have probably used Great Weapon Master. Uh, I took that V, uh, 14 plus five and is- because, because these are new characters and this is our first combat, I'll let you, I'll let you. No, 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 no. I, trust, I thought, trust, trust, uh, trust me. Well, I still did uh, 19 more points. So that'd be 29 total. Okay, he still has 13. I don't want to steal all the fun from everybody. Okay, uh, and last is David. Okay, I'm like, Tor on, Torga, you might want to step back, dear. <laughs> and if she's five feet away, I am going, my eyes are going to flicker, and I'm going to cast I'm, I'm going I'm to tell you right now. She's in she, the middle of it. She's, huh? in, she's in melee with him, so she's not five feet from him. Oh, okay. But so I mean, she's closer than five feet. To she's, him. Within, she's within five feet, yes, in, um, order to be able, in order to be able to melee. I was going to say, but there are more quadrants that you should be able to get around. I mean, there are, what, one, two... I'm not, sure, I'm not sure what he's casting yet, so I'm trying to figure that out. Uh, I was going to cast Create Bonfire and make it appear right where the guard is. <laughs> uh, I, <laughs> I was going to set him on fire, is basically for, it. For as far as that works, could you do it five feet away from him? Yeah, yeah, I could put it like right like behind would be, that him. That would be my suggestion if that's what you're trying to do. Yeah, yeah, I will put it uh, in a space, a five foot space, right next to him and not right on top of them. There you go, and that, and that, and uh, anything, anything but a net one that'll you, you're able to figure that out and not and not catch Torga as well. Okay, so go, ahead, go ahead, go ahead and give me a roll for for that. Okay, uh, let's see. Um, Okay. Well, the spell itself is a deck save, so just just go ahead and roll just to see right, if this happens. You, you, yeah, you yeah you go ahead and give me a roll just to see that you're give, for for your uh, not for your for your able to do trigonometry. Okay. <laughs> do I add a spell modifier to it or just straight just roll? Give me a net, just give me a tw d twenty, no ones. Okay, fourteen. There you go. Okay. So what's my deck save? Uh, the deck save is fifteen. Okay, I failed that miserably with a six. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, roll for damage. Please. Okay. And the damage is... Uh, it is 11 points of damage. Okay. He still has two and he's up and... I think anything that he's wearing flammable is on fire? Uh, he's going to be wearing splint armor. Okay. Uh, and uh, I just rolled a 15... 
which means that there are actually other patrons nearby. Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> You did not. Re All right, you made like a you well rolled seven on your intelligence check to realize there's anybody else here. I guess. And and with that, I, the, so you also basically just uh, also that catches two other two other random passerby. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh you because I you're, you're you arguing this in the middle of the marketplace. Yeah, uh, I walked right into that one. <laughs> What's the name of the show again? Yeah. Maybe maybe those maybe those peasants had loot. Yeah. Uh, the guard barely standing. Uh, he's going to go fucking ham. Oh, he's, he's going, going ham. He's gonna go ham. Uh, he's he's he he's on his death knells. He knows that there's no point in trying to escape. He's rang for the other guards. He's just going to die for the country and king. Yep, he's going ham. Yes. Uh, against Torga. Bring Damn. it. <laughs> uh, do, 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 do. That is a. It's only a plus five to hit. Does a fifteen hit? Nope. You didn't miss by much, though. Okay, because an 18 fine. hit. An 18 would hit. Okay, his second attack it connects, then. Oh. Uh, it's only going to be 1d10 plus 3. That's so not it's, much only eight. It's, only, it's only 8. Only 8. That's not much different than what I do, actually. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's, a, that's effectively all he's going to do. But Again, he's going kamikaze. I am going to say that he is effectively going to try and charge you with his with his uh, movement. He is going to attempt to to fall onto you. Oh, okay. Uh, so I'm going to do this just, just a simple dex save against his constitution. Constitution. Okay. He's a big guy. Uh gonna fall on me that's only yeah that's only an eight an eight yes uh he is going to not do damage but he is now prone and you are also prone under him he's alive but barely this seems highly inappropriate <laughs> he's, he's trying to he's trying to restrain you while the other guards arrive the other guy it's funny because you try to shake him oh what the heck's your name Teddy? Teddy. Teddy tried to shank him in the neck. Teddy su su and su successfully did, but I but before he had a but, but since then you beat the shit out of him with your hammer. <laughs> yes, I did. Thank you. Uh, Caitlin, you're still going to the harbor. So worth it. <laughs> Just flying away from the chaos. Okay. Okay. Uh, fair enough. Uh, wow. Kind of, uh, I will shank uh, the guard on the ground. Uh, he's prone, so you get advantage. Sure. What I would like to do, shank him, kill him, but make it look like I'm trying to help him. Uh, <laughs> I will have you roll for deception if you connect. Okay. If you don't connect, you don't get to try. It just looks like you were trying to hit tack. Okay, I got a dirty 20 to hit. Okay, fair enough. Uh, deception, uh, an 18. Uh, uh, I'm like, hang on, I'm trying to see that. I'm, I'm not, I, I, I rolled for that, but I'm not, I, I don't like that roll. I'm going to, because I rolled an at 20 and I want to give that, I think that should be passive perception because they're not actively looking for deception. Sure. Okay. So I'm I'm going to call that passive perception, which is less than 18. So I'll I'll give that to you. Okay. He's passive uh, so perceptive. Stab, and I'm going to start pulling out gauze from the medical pack, and just be like, oh, here you go, here you go. I was like, jazz. Going, even though you're not healing him, I am going to take one use of that of that med kit away though, because you're well, using supplies good. from it. I like it. <laughs> is that is that fair? Perfectly fair. I love it. Isn't your goal tonight to use all the uses on the med kit? I'm to not actually, to not actually healing left. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nice. 
Yes, I'll do that. Also trying to move uh, off of Torgan, just be like, run and I'll distract the guards. Uh, also, <laughs> give me a, also give me a strength check. Okay. Because you're also trying to do that with a dead corpse in the middle of all that. It's going to be a little cumbersome. <laughs> that was 18. Okay, you are able to do that. You are going to not have to, you're going to be able to escape freely if you so choose to do, Torga. Yeah, um, so for, just for the sake of, because of course we, you know, didn't really discuss this as players before. Can we say we have like a meetup spot? Somewhere? <laughs> I, 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 you, you are, I, I, yes, we, we did kind of discuss that. You guys are an, an, a, a, an established group. You are familiar with each other. I will say that, yes, if you have bug out bags that you want to go collect and meet up, you have, you have, a, you have a home, a home uh, base of operations that is essentially going to be uh, in the 9.3 slums. All right. So that's what I'm going to well, do. Hang, hang on, no, hang on. I, I take that back. Let me roll a d6 just to see what okay. you're uh, it, It's we're actually going to be in the 9.2 slums. Okay. So, the, so we have a dead guard here. Anybody really, I'm going to basically whisper at the other two, meet up at HQ, and I'm gonna, then I'm going to take off. Okay. Run! Uh, not... Uh, oh, and I will grab my flask. Have to grab the flask. You, you, you. Oh, yeah, you did. Let, you did. You did let go of it. Okay. Um, you are able to escape the main area of the market, but it wasn't particularly inconspicuous. No, probably not. So, so I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm just letting you. I'm just letting you know so that you can act accordingly if you continue to move that way you will probably be followed um so you there are there are dark areas there are places to hide in between yeah, areas, but but I'm, I'm, really just, I'm just letting you know that someone will be reporting where you're headed if you don't try and yeah no i will try i'll pick some like but, but, but know, that'll be for next city. that'll be for next round yeah i know the city pretty well so i imagine i know where the alleys are uh, yes, you, yeah, 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 that's very fair. Uh, David? Uh, I am going to try to use <laughs> my stealth to blend with oncoming passerbys and uh, bug out of there uh, uh, what, subtly. What, what race are you? Uh, I'm a half elf. I'll give you advantage. Okay. Nice. All righty. Oh, good thing you gave me advantage. <laughs> and my second roll is a little better, 14. Uh, again, I'm going to go passive perception. Mm -hmm. uh, the townsfolk passive perception is 10, so you're fine. Okay. So, yeah, uh, so, I just kind of... So you, you are able to effectively dis dissociate yourself from the group. Okay. All right. Is, 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 is how I'm going to call that. You okay. haven't left. You haven't left the marketplace yet, unless you want to use your movement to do so. Um, uh, at this point, we've determined that our rendezvous place is the slums. So yeah, I'm just gonna go make my way there. Okay, so you're going. You're going to affect the field of combat. Okay. Yes. Yes. Just checking. Okay, that works. Uh, brings it back to the guards. Uh, he blew the whistle. The last turn, they're going to arrive next turn, not this one. This is a free round. Uh, Caitlin. Am I still on the way to the harbor? Or am I at the harbor? I told you it was going to take you 10 rounds. It's going to take the 10 harbor, rounds. You continued to go to the harbor. Yeah, I got to recruit people. What else than people that just got off the boat? Okay. I got a job for you. Yeah. Okay. That's actually not a bad idea. So... <laughs> You look hungry. Here's a potato and here's a knife. Go kill a guard. <laughs> uh, okay. If, 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 that, if that's your intention, for brevity's sake, I'll knock it down to, to, to four turns so you'll get at the harbor next turn. Okay. <laughs> just 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 for the sake of brevity. Uh, nice. Uh, that brings us to Kyle. 
Uh, so does it appear my ruse is working and you you are giving this CP you, you're 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 uh you're 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 pumping to, to the beat of staying alive, you know. You're, you're, <laughs> I took that class, so yeah. You're giving it you're giving it your all. Uh I'll have you roll a second performance check. Uh if you fail it, it's not gonna be bad. If you pass it, it's gonna be good. <laughs> Actually, knowing what happened the last time I did something similar to this, I'm going to join the party to make this a little bit simpler. Uh, so so you're, I'm just you're going, you're going, you're going to... I need more gauze, and I'll start running out of there. <laughs> uh, drawing, drawing attention to yourself like that, give me, give me just a straight up deception. Oh, 12. Uh. Uh. <laughs> But I can run really fast, guys. Oh. <laughs> no, no, the uh, roll to the net one. You're good. Woo! You're, you're, you are, oh, the, somebody get that man more gauze. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a guy on the ground going squirt, 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 squirt. Oh, no, no, he, he's still he, he stopped. Pu- he's, he he's stopped pumping. It in there. Yeah, it, it, the heart isn't pumping. It's no longer <laughs> arterial spray. Oh. Wait. Who would be waking out? Sometimes your muscles guards have bad. clerics that they could speak with dead with. Uh, I will that's roll. A good question. Anything. You didn't ask that earlier. Uh, turns out that there are two temples in town, and they're oh, probably they're probably paid off through the government. Yeah. You should have taken the head, Kyle. <laughs> I was gonna cut out his. Uh, I All did, they need I is did a jaw. Like okay. There were, there, there, there were also about fifty other witnesses uh to the shanking Uh-oh. do they even care uh for the right price they might well which price our price or the guard's price Dun-dun-dun. well considering that this, this is a, this is a this is a uh basically a uh dystopia the price is not torture oh are we saying revolts? They can't get us all. No, uh, I, I'm going to say that I'm, I'm just making you aware that there, you did this in full view of witnesses. You, in fact, yeah. in, in fact, oh. Davron killed a couple witnesses. That's why we need to go. Wow. You are a terrible person. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so, so far, so far, you've all effectively been able to escape. Okay. Uh, escape safely. Uh, wow. <laughs> Torga, Torga is going to have to. Uh, Tor- Torga is being observed as she's fleeing, so she's going to have to try and stop that, or, or tr- try and uh, try and throw him off. But effectively, you've all made it out of here safely. All right. Yeah. So what do you need to do to throw him off? I basically, uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have you try and use a stealth to hide it, to hide in the shadows of the of the alleyway. Yep. I'm actually gonna look for something that maybe has something like something I could use for cover or to hide behind or whatever. You're going to halt your movement and you're going to shelter in place. Yeah. Okay. Oh, but that's that's a good stealth check. So, uh, but I'm not going to, I'm just basically going to see if anybody's following me. And then if I, it looks that's clear, gonna be, then that's going to be a perception check. All right. Well, I still start with stealth though, right? Uh, yeah, you're old stealth, but if you're trying to see if anyone's following you, that's going to be perception. Well, yeah, that's after I stealth. I, I basically, I'll, I'll make that after I stealth. Yeah, so your uh, stealth, so stealth was 21. Very good. I, I, decent tonight. <laughs> that's going to roll one. Oh, that was not one, but uh, perception, that's a 12. You feel like you are sufficiently hidden. Well, no, basically I'm making that check to know when it's safe to get up and go. Oh, then it, then it's perfectly safe. Which means <laughs> not at all. So then I'm gonna take basically one- Well, when no, no, I, no, you rolled, you rolled a 12. You rolled yeah. a 12, perfectly <laughs> safe. Well, I mean, they could roll lower than me. That is very possible. You're uh, fine. They're not, they're not trying to hide. No, exactly. Yeah. That's why I figure I probably can see the probably see people yeah, come yeah, up. You, you feel like I'm lying to you. It's perfectly safe. 
I always feel that like the bell that Frank does. <clears throat> you better feel like the GM is always lying to you because most of the time they are. <laughs> uh, but all right, uh, and that's gonna make us tell Chicks to sneak off through the alley. And there then... isn't there isn't anyone following you. Okay, so I don't <laughs> need to tell. Then I go back to home. When, as, as soon as you as soon as you disappeared, you, yeah. the eyes that the eyes that had been following you lost interest. Good. <clears throat> And then I go back to HQ. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> for brevity, we'll Penny. say that you all arrived there Money, while Caitlin is having her interaction at the harbor. So, Caitlin, tell me what's going on with you. What's around me right now? Uh, it's you are. Uh, where, where along the harbor are you? Uh, tell me on the map. I guess like I would be near like where the ports are, wherever the ships come in. Uh, those are those would be the the slots uh, the the. The black lines on the water side. So again, like which direction towards the east or west? Towards the number seven. So that would be east. Away from the guards tower. Okay, guards. so you're right by the harbor master. Gotcha. Yeah, somewhere what, over there. Uh, so what are you wanting to do while you're here? Finding people that are just arriving. Mm -hmm. Like uh, boats. Uh, be a little bit more specific. What do you mean by that? Like either, um, you know how like sometimes there's like obviously boats that come and bring like supplies and stuff. It would like strictly be people, whether it's like so. Like, so you're looking, you're looking for a, pa a pass a passenger vessel as opposed to a merchant vessel. Yeah. Uh, if that exists, uh, D twelve against me. Oh my God, a three. Uh, there, there are no passenger vessels coming into port today. Damn it. Are there? But, but there are, but there are going to be uh, three, what seem to be uh, merchant ships arriving, uh, loading, unloading goods, uh, engaging in trade. Uh, the Harbor Master is going to be overseeing all of this. Is the Harbor Master part of the government or is he like his own thing? Yes. To which one? Both. Yes. Uh, <laughs> that's a boat. Um, I guess I go to see who works for the harbor master, but not uh, him. It would be safe to say, okay, uh, give me a, give me a straight up uh, investigation check. Ten. Ten? Oh, how that's, I that's, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give that to you. That's going to be good enough. You notice that the harbor master has emblazoned on his breast pocket a, a, an emblem of a fist holding three lilies that you deduce is the felter snatch insignia. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I'm going to crack up every time I hear it. You would, you would also be able to infer that since some of since there are people loading some of these ships up with the same insignia, that they are probably uh, employees of the docks. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I'll go <clears throat> casually talk to them. You're talking to the employees. Yeah. Hey, are they employee employees or employees? Civil servants. Mm -hmm. I was thinking like slaves because you mentioned slavery is a uh, part of no. The well, it's 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 ex exploitism or exploited workforce. But these are people on the government payroll. Like these, these are these are people on the government payroll. These are people that are taken care of well to report a, to report back accordingly. Okay. So you are able to, yes, absolutely. Uh, he doesn't seem particularly concerned by you and he doesn't really want to have much to do with you. He has a job to do, he's trying to do it now. Uh, what, what would you like to do? I casually talk to the people and be like, oh. Again, how again so by good. people, you're talking about the civil servants. Yes. Okay. Civil servants. Ask them kind of like, how is it? How's the job? Oh, they ignore you. Get like a feel for how they are. No, they, they completely ignore you. What? 
I started squawking. I thought your mind was coming out of me. I, I, I didn't, sorry, I didn't catch that. What were you saying? I said, I think an egg's coming out of me. Squawk, 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 squawk. Uh, one of one of them casually one of them casually mentions that there's a a medicus over that way. Yeah, but they continue. But they they they're not going to they're not going to stop their work. But it, one of them was nice enough to try and tell you where you might find assistance. Oh man! All right, I guess I go up to this one one of them. I don't know. And. Stretch my wing out, kind of wrap it around them. Uh, he's not going to be stopping, so I'm going to have you make a grapple check to see if you can even try and. Well. Hold him down. <laughs> <laughs> what would that be under? Uh, it's going to give me an, give me an attack roll uh, using your uh, strength modifier. Call it, we'll call it an unarmed strike, but you're not doing damage. Oh. 10. What the hell is with all these tens? Uh you 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 know you know how like uh when when you're when you're at the movies and you're trying to you know play it smooth and you kind of accidentally fall backwards. Oh man. Yeah, yeah you 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 gracefully try and try and embrace this uh wrap your up your wing around this gentleman and in doing so he has already moved and you stumble forward. Uh give me a deck save. Smooth. <laughs> the smoothest. Fourteen. And don't fall into the water. I went in, went in, didn't fall into the water. I guess I try to. Hmm. What would even be? I don't know. Come. These are sailors. They're they're persuaded by three things: tattoos, money, women. That's two of them. <laughs> I'm guessing tattoos is not one of them. I would yeah, say you wouldn't be tattooed <laughs> unless you got feathers missing. <laughs> alcohol. There you go. There you go. So I'm, I'm I'm just I'm just putting that out there. If you're if you want him to stop working. You're gonna have to basically come up with one of those three. I guess I shout. Who wants to go to the tavern for drinks? Uh, as soon as we're finished here, oh. it's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm like you, you, you got a line that can save it. There's one line that can save it. What the five o'clock somewhere? The line was I'm buying. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you saying you buy him probably was sweet. Oh, him. yeah. I would say if you're going to come here and if you're going to listen to me, or I don't even know. How would yeah, I you're, basically, you're basically <laughs> saying, come on, fellas, round on me, and I'll have you roll a deception check because I think I know the, the idea of what you're trying to do. You're basically trying to deceive I, them. I, I, just, I, I just popped an egg out. It's a healthy baby girl. Come on, let's have a celebratory drink. Round on me. Yeah, where is this egg? And just leave oh. the egg. <laughs> you said you were. You said you were pushing an egg out, didn't you? An egg. <laughs> oh my god! You should see what. If there's an egg coming out of me, free round of drinks. Oh uh, no! I, I only. I only. I, I was just following. This. You had already said that there was an egg coming out of you, right? I wasn't trying to put words in your mouth. No, no, I said, but it was oh. like a fictitious. You know. Uh -huh. Hey, hey, a suggestion from Twitch chat, you know, from Frank saying you should yell, I taste like KFC. What? That I'm finger that licking that good. That, that, would, uh -huh. that would get the racist, <laughs> tell, tell Frank that that would get the racist sailor's attention. Oh. I only see that to the women. <laughs> Okay. What, which part? <laughs> so, so go ahead, and I will. I will have you roll a persuasion check at advantage, just uh, again for the sake of brevity, to try to uh, move persuasion. things forward. Lucky thirteen. That's with, that's with advantage. Yeah, I'm just doing it online. These dice are easier than me rolling. Uh, I'm going to roll against intimidation from the government. 
Uh, that's a 19. Ah, that's uh, one. Who so, gave him the good dice? Yeah, who <laughs> the weighted dice that you're using? Is that what you bring to the casinos? They're actually my dick dice. I knew it. Oh, I knew they were. <laughs> that explains it. They yeah, always. I, 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 I had to roll that against something, and I, I'm like, I'm going to say tyrannical intimidation. Nice. Yeah. So, that and that. Yeah. I, Nothing I says tyrannical intimidation like big dick dice. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, it's you kind of get the, you kind of get the impression that you're not going to have much luck in this section. If if you, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that if you want to try try that elsewhere along the docks, you may have more luck. But the, these fellows are taking no interest in you. All right. I guess they say fine. Good luck. May not wake up tomorrow and walk away. Uh, where are you headed? <laughs> to the next dock. To the next slew of docks. Oh, oh to the next slip. Mm hmm. Okay. Look for uh, a head wound, Larry. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> while you're do while you're headed over there, we'll back at headquarters. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. Uh, we'll say that you have all successfully been able to regroup. Uh, and we've all uh, been it, spotted. And <laughs> and I'm going to have you all roll just a general, just straight up each money. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Roll be good. <laughs> that, yeah. We don't know what this is for, so that is a five. And David? Uh, that is a 15. Okay, good. None of you matched me, so you weren't followed. Oh, good. High low didn't matter. Well, yeah, yeah, but you may have picked up elsewhere when because there were still guards coming from other directions. Mm -hmm. So uh, you you are successfully mm -hmm. you are successfully back at headquarters. Go on. So, all right. Mm -hmm. So what's our next? Sorry week? about that, guys. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't strike him, I would have. Hey. You know, it takes nobody touches the dwarf's flask and lives. Well, you hit him so hard he spontaneously combusted out the throat through a thin <laughs> slice. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is our next move? We've got to take out this horrible, horrible leader of the city. Well, we can't <laughs> show our faces in the market right now, <laughs> so unless we do a shave, ha. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Mostly it's just you, Torga. Neither of us actually have beards. Give, give, me, yeah. give, me, uh, give me a slight of hand to save, Teddy. As a rule, my dwarf of hand. beards. Yes, oh, give me a slight of hand to hand save. Uh, uh, I, guess him be, I, guess be, I guess that would be a dex save. Okay. Oh, no. I think I preferred the sleight of hand, honestly, but... Are you going to cut one of us? Nine. He's going to cut one of your, us. Your, your, yes, your, your, your uh, flair bartending skills with your, with your cutlery. Uh, you basically have a fumble, and you go ahead and roll damage for yourself. Uh, it'll be friendly fire damage. Oh, he's going to uh, hit. Uh, yeah. uh, five damage. Oh, uh, okay. and so two or three, however you want to roll. Uh, I'll round down two. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, new knife, new knife. Ow. <laughs> Gauze. <laughs> so, so wait. So, what is what is the plan? I mean, should we get some more help? Should we start a whole uprising in the city and take out all the guards and all the loyalists? The plan is no plan. Um, two thoughts. My first thought was to see who the wanted criminals were, thought. but uh, apparently the bird figured out uh, the guard understood the plan so that's why he was killed or mm -hmm. two we figure out how brutal the guards are being with the witnesses in the market square if they're being particularly brutal we hire those people to help us or uh, the families of the people who uh, were killed I'll, I'll save you time give me an intelligence check and uh, all of you all of us. Okay. Yeah. I was gonna say, what about what about the people I like work with? So I basically I am I'm treating myself like a slave, and I'm not happy. You're, and you're an indentured servant. Yeah, and I imagine there are others like me, 
I'm a Thanks. stone cutter. I imagine there are others like me that I would know. But go ahead and give me that intelligence check first. Real that quick. would be, what the hell's my intelligence? Uh, that would be a 15. Uh, David? It goes to 11. Uh, and Teddy? 14. OK. Uh, actually, no, you're all able to deduce they're not going to be treated well. They're, they're, <gasps> they're, they're going to be interrogated. Uh, and and they're, they're going to, the witnesses are going to sell you out to save their own asses. Uh, because if they didn't, they would be waterboarded. For sure. So you 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 know that that's the order of operations around here. You're you're you don't even have to go investigate that. So we go around and we just spread the rumors. Man, did you see that guard just trying to take the alcohol from that dwarf? All of this you. over a flask of alcohol and they're treating everybody like this? Let's fucking kill all the guards, guys. Time for new readers to attend this town. I, would maybe, I mean, I would maybe <clears throat> uh, play it where it lies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. If only. <laughs> so, um, I mean, the other thing that I can say is make our way under cover of night to one of the taverns and try to talk up insurrection there? I don't know. So, making your way downtown, moving fast? Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. Splitting up. No, no, not splitting up. Okay, uh, and, 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 and for the record, uh, Bertie, you would also be aware of where headquarters is if you at any time decide to go meet back up with the group. Hey, excuse me. Bless you. Ugh. Um, yeah, she's making origami birds in real life. <laughs> yeah, well. Oh my gosh, she is. <laughs> Join the rebellion. Here's an origami, origami bird. bird. Here we go. Use. We get some of magic, and I go, okay, make it so this sends like notes to people. Join. <laughs> so what, what, are you, what are you doing? Flies into their windows at night. How are you? How, how are you? How are you going to do that? She's like rolling up the origami paper and yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you don't see Jesus, then you never will, man. Oh, this shit be iry. <laughs> <laughs> Says the man holding a hookah. So <laughs> let's start a riot. Let's go do this. Whatever. Yeah, that that, so that would like probably that is the order of the day. That would probably be the thing to do. We started a riot. Pull the oh, start a ride in the market or someplace, and because right. that worked well the first time. <laughs> start a riot outside of his mansion. Where was he live in a mansion or something? Yeah, he, uh, he he basically takes up the Mininsku building serves also as his primary residence. Well, with start a riot outside of his residence and pull is try to pull as many so guards away so from his by the gallows. Yeah, how convenient. Uh, we could we could do that. Try to pull as many guards away, and then go in and get him. Because I'll bet he's soft. He has he has loyalty towards him by the right people, but otherwise, and probably some, probably to uh, some of that loyalty has been intimidated. Uh, if you know what I mean. So possibly. We'll try. It. We said if we can pull enough guards, maybe we can get into his place. And I said I think he's soft. There is there is only the one. I, I just taking a look at the map. I'm going to remind you guys. There's the one guard guard post by the market, and the other one uh, on the far side of the town square. So there isn't one immediately by the uh, by the by the municipal building. But it's safe to say that there are probably a couple beef eater type fellows there. As I said, I'm just trying to think of something to pull guards away from his residence. So, I, I, and I'm, I'm just letting you know, there are probably only going to be two around there that you would have to be worried about that would be po posted outside of town hall. Wow, really? You'd think he'd be more well guarded than that when he's such a scary I'm person. I'm saying out outside. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, but I'm trying to see if maybe we get people from inside to come outside. If, I'm, I'm just passing along information. Okay, so uh, Felder snatches 
Uh, residence is outside of the city. Is that what you're saying? No, no, I said his primary residence is also going to be in the municipal building. It's going to it's in going a to municipal building. A, a dual purpose. There's going gotcha. to be you know the, the foyer where business is conducted, and then the back room where he goes and bangs his whores. Gotcha. Things to children. Well, um, I mean, one fire already started today. Um, Actually, three. Three. Because <laughs> those peasants were wearing flammable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but uh, I mean, we could kind of cause some kind of distraction, you know, uh, some kind of emergency where the guards will have to emerge to. <laughs> start a riot because I think that will pull them. The we could. Everyone give me an intelligence check. Just so. I don't think he likes unrest in his town. And yeah, that's only a seven. A seven here, too. Uh, what are we? Intelligence. Oh, yeah, because that's my strong suit. Yeah. Oh. That my 20. Turn. I have a moment of brilliance. <laughs> you, you, you deduce that those guards outside of the town hall are not going to be uh dispatched elsewhere okay that's why i want to set up the i want to have <clears throat> i want to have it happen as close to there as possible yeah but yeah i'm just so yeah you you there's not going they're not going to be pulled away by a distraction elsewhere is, is what i'm yeah no you, that, yeah that's why i want to do it to figure that out. there what if long-term plan here guys uh, set some fires, pull some Robin Hooding off, so much so that uh, I, I forgot the mayor's name again. Uh, uh, Howard Phidias Felter Snatch. Just Howie Felter Snatch. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, so we put Felter Snatch in a, in a King John situation to where he's beating up all the people to take all their money and we're still robbing everybody so they get treated even worse and then we start recruiting and throwing riots i think long-term plan yeah it's a long and start a whisper plan. campaign on top of that <laughs> that again that's a long-term plan that doesn't really work so well for two hours in there. Oh, hey you just say hey roll for this roll for that how do you do this how do you uh, yeah, roll for this roll for that and months pass yeah, give me a roll. You really want to do that? I mean, I, mean, I don't know. What do you guys have? It's up to you guys. I mean, I think we should probably lay low for a little bit longer after, you know, beat a guard to death in the middle of the marketplace. Not exactly. I, I'm not exactly. I, I will no you for all one, uh, one stealth check, and I will say that a month passes and that you go off the radar. Okay. We need to see what happens down at the docks first. Okay. Uh, 13. If, if, if that's how you want to play it. I'm just letting you know that that's how I'm going to rule on that. It, it's, it's up to you guys, but I rolled a yeah. 13. I want to kill people now, but that's beside the point. I uh, see. That's, yeah, that's 11. Uh, that is also an 11. Uh, what? what did you have, Carol, on 11? 11. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, down at the docks where we're still recruiting sailors. <laughs> uh, Eckley's there. Hello, sailor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't have to uh, so go ahead. Uh, where, what are we up to down at the docks? Huh, take a look at these drumsticks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um, what's at the next dock? Uh, when, when we uh, arrived, you did, we determined that there were no passenger vessels arriving today. Uh, there were only three merchant ships. Uh, at the next merchant ship? Where you're at now and where you were, you're going to have uh, encountered all of the workers, uh, all, all of the dock workers. So this is, this is your second chance and your last chance at the docks. Okay. Your last chance for love. Can I do intimidation? Uh, you're going to have to. I'm go. I'm go. You can do intimidation, but I'm going to roll intimid tyrannical intimidation against you. Okay. He's uh, gonna roll the dick dice against you. 
Okay. Um, no, if, that, if that's what you wanted, I'm just letting you know, you're going to have to scare them more than the other people do. Yeah, that's, yeah. Then what, This I don't know, deceive them? I am the government, you should be listening to me. If you want to, okay, you want to do deception? Yeah. Uh, give me, uh, give me a deception roll at disadvantage because you don't have the, the lilies on your tip. Or do I? Uh, if you'd like to take a turn to fashion some kind of a disguise, I will allow you, I will take away that disadvantage, but I will make you roll for your disguise. Okay, what's for my, what would my disguise be? Considering. Uh, what, class, what, what, what class are you? Rogue. It's like, oh. like a real one. Okay, I was going to say you'd be able to, uh, uh, anything but any, any anything but a, just a DC DC uh, six uh, performance check. Okay. Thirteen. Okay. Yeah, you are you are able to duck into an alley and 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 create a, a passable version of something like something like you would see on one of the other workers that you would just that you would just been discussing just. Dis that you had just been speaking with. So you're able to see blend in. Uh, they don't, they still don't necessarily notice you, but if you'd like to go ahead and uh, go ahead and do what you were gonna do, you were gonna try and do deception. Yeah, so it's like, attention all important, important matters. Listen up, listen up, like loud. Oh, I'm, so you're trying to be someone over the harbor master. Yeah, like, like it's a, um, what is it? Like an emergency? Okay. And like we need all the all the workers we can get. It's emergency. Everyone needs to come now. Hurry! Like kind of vague about what the hurry is, but like you gotta come. Like if you don't, you know, you're gonna be in trouble. Uh, give Give me a roll. Uh, give me a Give me a deception check. Still, I'm gonna I'm gonna. Okay. So twenty one. Uh. They, they, they take notice of you, and they, uh, they're, they're, they're awaiting orders. But you've also attracted the notice of the harbor master. The harbor master going to follow. Uh, the harbor master is going to know what the fuck you're doing. I'm going to tell him we need everyone. However, you need to stay here to keep track of all the and new people I'm coming. Say, I give the orders around here. I need you back to work. I've come from the, who, what, what's his name? The dude's name, hold on. Shelter Snatch. Shelter uh, Snatch. Seriously forget that name. Let me see your paper. I mean Phineas, because I think of Phineas and Ferb, but. Let me see your paper, let me see your paperwork. You, you don't have see your papers? Here? Um, I, I, I know everyone at the manor. Let me see, let me see your paperwork, that's, that's. You're, you're trying. You right now. You're trying to outrank the start. The sergeant is what you're trying to do. Can I give him fake paperwork? Like, look, you don't see it. <laughs> uh, since since I didn't know that that's what you're going to try and do, I will give you a forgery, uh, another another deception roll to see if you can forge papers as part of your disguise. Okay. If they're good enough. Uh, you won't have to make a sleight of hand check, but I'm probably have to make sleight of hand. Okay. Because I got an eleven. Okay. Yeah, your your filter snatch kind of looks a little bit more like thunder thunderstruck. <laughs> yeah. You know, so he 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 finds them to be if if they were to if they were to be given intense scrutiny, they would be found to be found, they, they would be found to be false. So oh, slide a hand check fifteen. So you're just gonna try and like, oh yeah, here you go. Do do the quick molder and scully. Yeah. Uh <sighs> give me deception versus intimidation. I'm I'm, I'm gonna roll intimidation uh, for tyrannical intimidation, roll deception. Twenty, but not a natural. Tyrannical intimidation is nineteen. 
He's actually not going to, he's going to, he's going to be impressed that you agree that you complied. You, you were able to produce papers and he's going to be, oh, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. All right, fine, then let's, all right, all right, all right, boys, you heard her. And they're she all, orders. Hmm. They they are awaiting orders. I totally lost sound on all of that. No, they are awaiting. They're following you. Yeah. So okay. What are you gonna tell them to do? To yeah. follow me. To hurry up. Follow me. Get your weapons. We're under siege. There. Oh, then. Oh, then you want the guards? I don't know why you're down here. You want the guards? We're, we're, no, we, we, don't, we already we're, have the they, guards. They, 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 don't have, they don't have weapons. They have. They have. They have weight belts. We need everybody we can get. Everyone. I'm gonna actually make you roll another deception check at that. Uh, oh man, nine. <laughs> Now you've also gained the attention of the guards at the guard post on the harbor. I intimidate the guards. Why aren't you? <laughs> Get back to your post. This is disadvantage because you're wearing the harbor. You're wearing the the. Uh, you're you're you you appear to be a dock worker and not a guard, so they're not going to be. Oh to man! Be now it's just all the bad rolls. Uh, six. Give her a little bit of power. They draw on you, and the harbor master is no longer listening to. Dive into the water. Uh, to fly or jump? Yeah, I just jump in. I'm like yellow. I'm just. I'm a bird. Okay. Yeah, that's a free action. Absolutely. Uh, your disguise is effectively going to be ruined once you do that. <laughs> Fuck you guys. I'm going in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, You're like, well, nice knowing you as the city catches D12 on fire. D12 Jump in. Against me. D12 against me. <laughs> Wait. Oh, there's D12. a fish. Give me D12. What am I rolling? A D12. A D12. Okay. There's a fish. There's a oh, fish. Dinner. Nine. Okay, we're going to come to an initiative roll when we come back to you. Oh, Lord. Because well, nice knowing you. you. All right. Well, I was going to die. <laughs> You're yes, fucking so dead. I'm guessing because of this, long term plans aren't going to work out real well here. I was going yeah. to say, well, well we, can't really, we can't go back to headquarters until this resolves. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, again, sake of brevity, uh, give me. Give me a deck save to see if you actually, or give, give me a perception check to see if you notice the shark's mouth that you're about to jump into. That's you, Caitlin. Yeah. Because we, we can't we can't keep, pick up with the rest of them until we finish this. That's 14. you, Eckley. Uh, what was that? 14. Okay, you do see that, so I will allow you to make a deck save to avoid it, and you're going to take flight instead of going into the water if you do. If you don't take flight, you're going to get bit. Can I ride the shark? Do you have animal handling as a proficiency? No, just a plus one. So that's it. If, it's not, if you're not proficient in it, I'm not going to give it to you. All right. What am I doing, Dex? Yep. Uh -huh. 23. Okay. So you do, you are able to. You, you feel you feel a little cartilaginous snout along your under under underbelly, and you take flight. Uh, the guards are watching all this still that we're just about to approach and draw, so they are going to signal to the archers at the guard post that they just came from, and you are about to be aerial assaulted. Uh, so it, it, may be, it may be a good idea to go back to headquarters. I go back to headquarters, but before <laughs> I leave, I drop it over on me. You do what? So they're all confused. You, you do what? I drop a little origami. Like, ooh, ooh, origami. Origami fog cloud. cloud. <laughs> <laughs> that will give their text disadvantage because I will give you half cover for that. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
I think, I think that, that, will, that, that will give the archers disadvantage on their attacks as because they are going to get one round of attacks as you go back to headquarters. But because you're providing yourself cover, they're going to get disadvantage. Yeah, we're gummies. Can't tell which bird I'm supposed to shoot at, sir. Call it almost like a mirror image. <laughs> uh, does a three hit you? No. You successfully make it back to headquarters. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just like picture like origamis on the ground with like arrows in them. Basically, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, do you guys want to fill her in on the plan? Uh, or do you want to update them on your escapades? Oh, that's yeah, a good, I mean, the only bad thing about doing a long-term plan, I mean, that gives us plenty of time to get caught and to not take him out. Right. Well, then you we know, should just break into the building under the cover of night. Since as long as you can remember, actually, is effectively... Going to be I thought it'd be fun to start a riot, that's all. Uh, yeah. We could just tell people that either you join us or you die. Uh, if we had a bard, we can inspire people, but, you know, maybe we could try to find one in town that could, I don't I know, spin a yarn. Second idea, we uh, grab potions of uh, 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 shrinkage. We shrink ourselves... <laughs> We have Ikli fly us over the manor, drop us off. We feather fall in. I was about to say a halo insertion. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that'd be fun, but uh, well, I mean, could you steal such a potion? Because I can't I, afford to buy them. I was about to say those are expensive, right? I so have gold. nine silver. Let's do yeah. that. Let's do this. And feather. There's an alchemist. Oh. There, there's actually two alchemists in town. There's one uh, by each of them uh, within each of the markets. Uh, but we impersonate they, guards and acquire they, them for the state. And I will tell you that you're is also that? functioning under the assumption that everyone else is also happy with the regime. Right. It, 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 a, it, I there know. Are, there there I, may be townsfolk who would be willing to aid you for free. That's true. I mean, a lot of my friends really don't like this regime either. So don't don't uh, don't don't uh, count out the townsfolk. Anyone that works for the works for the government is probably a bad idea, but any of the townsfolk might be good uh, possibilities. Uh, do if we, we don't, if we don't if we don't keep killing them? Do we, would we happen to know if either of those alchemists would be loyal to our cause? Would that be an intelligence check? Uh, that would, I'm going to make you interact with them to be able to tell. Right. All right. It's just that's it. I know we've been in this town for a while, so I figured we would have a sense on who is. Uh, uh, and who. You know that, yeah. Okay. Give me a history check then, if you want to okay. do that. Give I guess what I, that's like, that's what I took. Oh, I have no clue. Nope, no idea. Nope, no, because I oh, rolled an at once. Roll. Rolled an at once, that's a five. You think that you think that one of them actually had a a, a wife that was killed. God. I rolled a 12 for history. Can I check? No. You know that one of them had a wife that was killed. Mm -mm. Anybody you else? You don't remember which one. Oh, so it's just oh, so we know that for sure. That's correct information. We just don't know which one. And I'll go. Yeah, I will say to the other two in case maybe they want to roll, but I will make it not metagaming it completely. I'll say, you know, I know one of those, one of those guys, one of the alchemists had a wife that was killed by the guard. Does anybody remember which one? Uh, not me. Eighteen. Uh, let's see. How do you remember? Pepperidge Farm remembers. <laughs> Pepperidge Farm remembers. Uh, it's, uh, actually, it's actually going to be. Uh, it's actually. It's actually going to be. Uh, uh, what's, what's the DC? Sixteen. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm not even close. <laughs> eighteen. <laughs> yeah. No, it's it, it, not it's, eighteen. Eight. Oh God. I thought it's, I was the tired. It's actually, uh, 
uh, the, the, the alchemist, uh, uh, I'm a Kunt. Oh. <laughs> is I'm a, a, a man or a woman? Uh, this, it was a lesbian relationship. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, and that would be the alchemist that was in 3 2. Okay. Okay. Why? Is it the lady alchemist? Women can be alchemists too. Yeah. 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 Don't be sexist. Gosh. No, I fluff up my feathers. <laughs> Torga, right. you're thinking of the Imas. I'm a Kunt and I'm a Slut. No, 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 no. I'm a Slut. It, it would be no. the Kunt, I'm a, and you're a. Uh, <laughs> well, we should go try there to get your potion. I really, I do like this idea. It took me a second, Yura. <laughs> <laughs> Mel Kyle's on the page. <laughs> I'm a cunt and I'm a so so instead instead of instead of laying low, we're instead going to attempt to visit uh, the, uh, Ima in three two. Yes. Do we know? Well, real quick, do we know when tax day is? When every day, every day, every is, day, is, tax day. day is tax day. 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 <laughs> okay, my thought was, you know, let's talk to her after she's been disgruntled. I actually no, I will I will have you make me give me a general uh I'll I'll call it history. Give me a history check that, history. Uh, just to see if you can remember what the basic certain quadrants are are collected on various days. At uh, seventeen on that one. Uh twelve uh, for Dave. Okay. What's uh, her race? Is, big pardon? What's her race? The last uh, oh, oh. The, the the widow, yeah. Gotta put a label uh, on it. <laughs> is uh, actually gnomish. All right, bird will make do. Uh, but but the seventeen is able to ascertain that uh, the northern quadrant is going to be picked up. Uh, it, it, the 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 order of pickup is day one is north east. What, southwest, so it's, it goes in a clock, clockwise rotation. Uh, every fourth day is going to be when it's picked up. Uh, since we're going to the northern quadrant, uh, roll a d4. Roll a d4, and we'll see uh, if it, as long as it's not a one. Okay, it'll be picked up tomorrow. Okay, guys, let's lay low tonight. We'll head over there tomorrow, and when the tax collector. Uh, ruffles her feathers. <laughs> uh, then we go talk to Emma. I mean, sure. her feathers have already been ruffled, if indeed you remember correctly, and her wife was murdered. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, she, well, she you want it to be fresh in her mind, or do you want it between the three days? Having, she may be more grateful for not having to pay. Mm. That is a good point. That is a good yeah. point. I'm throwing that out there. I'm not saying that's the case. We may attempt fun. to rob the tax collector and give her the money. Although we were trying to do it for free, weren't we? Yeah, we were, but... Well, that still works. The problem is, is that we did not have enough money on our persons to pay her. Right. Her. So if we rob <laughs> the tax collectors, we have enough money. If we rob the tax collector, oh sorry. Give me a give me an intelligence check for that. For for Dave? Just just give me an intelligence check. Sure, because <laughs> that's been working out so well. Yeah, <laughs> again, <laughs> seven's the magic number. <laughs> Robbing the tax collector sounds like a terrific idea. They are never they are never guarded. Right. I mean, there's so many guard people in town. Why would they be guarded, right? Right. You just blow a whistle and all of a sudden there's thousands of guards surrounding you. Exactly. If only we had somebody that could silence the whistles. Torga, yes. are you up to it? Sure. Oh, me. There may have been a person like that at the tavern you were supposed to go to. So I would imagine that a tax collector will probably either have one or two no, guards. No, you said that you do not think that they're guarded. Oh. Yeah, they're, they're, they're just fine. They're fine. It's just the tax collector. Exactly. Mike, no, you 
for it. The tax collector is about see. 10 foot tall, though. So, you know, you got to reach to grab the money bags. But, but he's on Goddard besides that. Make sure it's the money bag you're grabbing. Oh, that's I guess either one is the money bag. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. So what, what what's the plan, guys? And then we go see her. Well, I offered my suggestion. Yeah, so, we but... could rob the tax collector, and if he finds out in the middle of his collections, he may not collect from Ima. Plus, we get money. Plus, Ima might help us for free. Give, me, a, wait... give, me, give me an intelligence check, uh, Teddy. Or if we uh, nineteen. Dress up like him. He said if you, one of the tax collectors were robbed, that everyone else would probably be taxed harder to make up for the loss. We should not, not rob do that. the tax collector. <laughs> <laughs> we could kill him. You you make a very persuasive argument, Teddy. So <laughs> thank you. I appreciate that. I think I think maybe we are overthinking this. We should just go talk to her. She's probably already on our side. So let's. Torga, let's you're drunk. I suggest we put some leeches on you to uh, suck out the evil, and then go talk to people. And no, where do no, we get no, leeches? The apothecary. Med cat. <laughs> Oh, the med kit. Yeah. She doesn't get Farmer it. surgeon, guys, come on. All right. Are, so, are we applying leeches? Do you get to, do I have to make you take another use off the med kit? No. <laughs> I'll absolutely do that to apply leeches. No, he is not going to apply leeches, or I'm going to take my hammer and wreck the freaking leeches. They're, and they're in my medical pouch. No! <laughs> And I, I lost you, 10 of them. Thanks. Bird nights? You want bird mites? Bird. Well, let's go. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Let's go to the apothecary, at least to check it out. Yeah. Uh, right. So since this is still the same day, uh, are we waiting? Are we waiting at all? Well, I will say that it's been two hours since the event at the market. Okay. Do you want to um, wait until the morning, though? That was uh, a Apothecary closes around dusk. Will open halfway between dawn and noon. It's up to you guys if you want to to rest. I wouldn't mind waiting till tomorrow. That way, we said we lay low for a night and then go. Uh, you do you. This is this is the safe house. I'm not going to make you roll. That you can safely spend the night here if you'd like to. Yeah. Let's, okay. Is that everyone's good with that. Yeah, I'm good with it. All right, then I will take a long rest. We go in the morning. In the morning, we plan. To our... <laughs> yes. Okay, so night passes uneventfully. You all get a get a, a good rest. Uh, okay. Uh, you will say you have a healthy breakfast. You're ready to go. Uh, if, if you, if you, unless you have anything else to do, you may freely head to the alchemist section. Again, this is going to be in the Northern Market 3-2. Does anyone want to shave before we go out in public and show our faces? I don't Maybe. need another I'm shave. looking at the dwarf. <laughs> the dwarf does not have a beard. <gasps> <gasps> you I'm monster! I'm a woman you know what? I should have known it. You don't have a Scottish accent either. No, 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 no. no. She, she's a lady dwarf, so it only grows in half as fast. She's <laughs> some peach fuzz, but there's no real beard there. Yeah, uh, it's a, it takes a hundred years. Great that. Wraps it around like it's straps. Underneath the nose, so it looks mm -hmm. like a mustache. Yeah, <laughs> typical stuff. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, no shaves. No shaves, anybody. Eh? No. Oh, you could shave part of my head, though. <gasps> the side oh, there. I haven't done this in a while. Shave. <laughs> it's going to be a performance, gonna be a performance <laughs> check. Wow. Could it be a sleight of hand because I'm carefully and not trying to nick her <laughs> face, but give bar? her a close you, shave? You were, you were too eager to do it. You're doing it with flourishes, whether you intend to or not. Ah, right, damn it. There no barber, there's no barber tool, so you can't make a barber tool check. So you're like Bugs Bunny in those uh, Figaro uh, yes. uh, episodes. <laughs> well, like, no, it's, it's to shave the face. face. Yeah. To <laughs> shave the pin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, so clean like a weasel. This is the 
Yeah. <laughs> Look at what I started, folks. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's a twelve on a performance check. Okay, you 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 are you are you are unmol you are uh, unmolested. Well, oh, that's good. Well, she shaved. <laughs> she looks terrible, <laughs> but I'm unmolested. <laughs> yeah, basically, it's the half. Yeah. You know, if yeah. he would have rolled, I look like a badass. Poorly uh, enough, he would have fumbled. He would have fumbled, and you would have had had to. It would have been bad. Okay. But well, luckily, we don't have mirrors in the house. Let's go, guys. It, 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 it my dogs. I'm just saying, if that would have gone bad, <laughs> yeah, well, gone. you would have been a guard. <laughs> okay, so you you successfully have a half skullet. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Right. Uh, uh, the, uh, again, uh, where we're headed is three, two. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, coming, coming, coming from nine, two, which direction are you going to go? Are you going to go, uh, up and out through the guild hall, or are you going to go, uh, uh, along the alleyway by the, uh, municipal building? Uh, whatever the most direct way is. We're going to, what'd you say? Nine, one. Right, you, you're in nine two. You're going to three two. Does the gallows courtyard get pretty busy during the day, or is it mostly? Uh, empty? It, 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 we're going to say that this is about ten o'clock. Uh, you know that executions are usually held in the evening because people like to have a nice supper afterwards. <laughs> uh, nice. So the the, the 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 town plaza there isn't necessarily anything unusual going to be going on there today. So that's that's not going to be an issue. Uh, but I yeah, I'm, just seeing, you, I'm just seeing which direction you're going to go. The direct route would be to go past the city hall. Uh, the indirect route would be to go by the guild hall in the market. Direct route? I mean... Or, or return want... to the scene of the crime. Yeah. The guilty never do that. <laughs> Basically, I'll wear a cloak and I'll keep my hammer my sledgehammer under my coat. We don't have to go back it's that like way. Hammer. Yeah, no, we don't have to go back that way. Yeah, no, I was just suggesting it for fun. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it anyways, no matter which direction we go. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm just stating I want to make sure I hide because the the war sledgehammer, that's what I'm calling it now, is um, basically that is that is like a trademark of mine. So that and the boots. You need to get that tattooed on your skull. Okay. I'm, like, <laughs> yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm hammered with booze. There you go. With a hammer across the place. That'd be really I'm, cool. I'm, I'm so boozed, I'm hammered. There you go. Written in dwarvish. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I keep thinking I need to get a miniature for this character. Okay. <laughs> so well, I suggest we take the most direct route. Okay. Yeah, Thanks. me too. Uh, uh, as you're passing the uh, municipal building, everyone give me a perception check. Eh, maybe? Uh, 16. Oh, 16. Ah, that's the second time we've done that. <sighs> oh, come on. We're on the same did wavelength did here. 17? 17. 17, and David? Oh, onesies. Okay, everyone but everyone but Davrin notices that there seem to be some new wanted posters up on the municipal building. I'm just strolling right by. Wanted posters? <laughs> uh, yes, civil, civil unrest, uh, manslaughter, and uh, assaulting a guard. I can't be in it because uh, I'm a... Uh, hey, no <laughs> mention of arson, so <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> probably me and... That would, that would be the manslaughter. Teddy. Right. Uh, big pardon? Me and Teddy. Uh yes, actually just the two of you. No, not Teddy. Uh Davrin, Davrin and you. Really? Oh. Yeah, the it's doctor is in, baby. Awesome. Yes, no, not no. T Teddy, Teddy and Teddy and uh, Bertie do not seem to be represented there. Wow. There. All right. I hope I put keep the cloak hood up as well. Yeah, yeah. We Come on, you have half your face no shaved. You're fine. Take, no one takes notice no 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 take of you as you pass by. You just happen to spot those. Okay. I, I am uh, as we walk by, just be like, man, can you believe those people? I hear the guards were trying to rob some old lady and they uh, stopped them. 
They are the worst. Just see what the reaction of uh, the everyday people happens to be. Uh, D12 against me just to see how many people are around because this isn't this isn't really the, the populous time for the plaza. Sure. Uh, I've got a nine. Okay, I got a three. So yeah, there's a couple of people around. Uh, give me a deception check. We need to kill him. We oh, nice. Uh, 14. Well, better. 14. Uh, the, the, there, there's a, there's an older couple, uh, just having, having, having a nice, uh, early lunch at the foot of the gallows, uh, yeah. uh, that, that do overhear you and they, they just kind of look a little bit puzzled yeah. and they, and they, they, you, you can feel them inspecting you very, very carefully. <coughs> Probably a loyalist. But you, but Teddy just, Sod, uh, barber shop over in that corner there. If you need a shave, sir, I see some uh, six o'clock growing right there. Yeah, uh, how 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 much? Uh, a copper piece. Wait, when a, when, are you, when when do you open? On Mondays. What's today? Thursday. Where am I? <laughs> The gallows, you're enjoying your brunch oh, of God, spring no. cheese. Oh, God, no. I, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. <laughs> sir, sir, you could use some leeches. Here's my card. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> way, to draw, way to not draw attention to ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where the barber surgeon place is, but I hope it's away from our headquarters. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get to let's get to Go so we can go freaking yeah. yeah let's go. They they, 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 uh, they they the Alzheimer's has once again clouded his judgment and he goes back to his sandwich with his nurse. Okay, hello uh, nurse. <laughs> at, least, okay. at, least, at least we hope that's his nurse or his granddaughter. One and the same. And here's my card for you, ma'am. <laughs> All right. So, all right. Uh, you're not you're you're not particularly causing any kind of uh, any any kind of disturbance. You're no one's giving you much more of a second glance than usual. Uh, you don't have to be particularly stealthy because. Well, actually, how are you dressed, Devin? Uh, I I got a cloak and a hood up. Okay, so you, you're you're both wearing essentially traveling clothes, so mm -hmm. you, you look nondescript. You don't necessarily look like right. You're, the mentors. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> there's, there's not, there, there's the two wanted posters are on top of about 600 others. So gotcha. it's, it's pretty much everyone in town is wanted for one thing or another. This isn't necessarily a, there, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like hot crimes. Like, yeah, we'll take you in for it if we see it. Right. But, so yeah, you're fine. Any like rewards that are excessively high or? Or gummies. Uh, we won't kill you. Mm, very nice. I'm so tempted to rip them down, but. Now like is the, the jail in the municipal building where, what's his name, uh, where Feldersnatch? Probably in the basement. Idiot. Yes. Okay, but you think he resides in the same building? He resides in the top, in the top. Yes. We should have got ourselves arrested. <laughs> Question: Do they arrest people or do they kill them for murdering guards? I'm uh, sure. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's killing them. Okay. He's like he's trying to he's weighing the consequences here. <laughs> Intelligence check. Intelligence. Okay. Sorry, yeah. I didn't hear you. Over I don't think somebody, you know. Carol, talking over you. I'm so sorry about that, Blake. Carol. Yeah. Uh, bullshit. <laughs> that's a seventeen. No, killing a guard is torture. Oh. Ooh. We don't want to get arrested. No, I'm saying I'm when all this started, before it escalated, we should have just let you him arrest us. Had, you actually had a one-way ticket straight into his house. Yeah. I was just thinking that Davrin's moment of brilliance <laughs> was very fleeting. Yeah. <laughs> so wait, what are we? Do? Are we still gonna go try to yeah, get the? Let's go. Look, we're, we're gonna we're we're gonna yeah. go with our first plan. 
So. I'm just seeing opportunity and double checking before we pass it yeah, by. Yeah, should, should that opportunity present itself again, uh, they will rough you up on the way, but he's going to want to handle you personally. Ruffle some fellers. Do you want to just get arrested then? What crimes would get us arrested and put in jail? When I, I like, point at uh, the jaywalking, walking. littering, loitering, uh, uh, petty petty theft, uh, uh, insulting uh, the clergy, uh, Murder. Exi Murder. existing. Um, Is there a food vendor <laughs> nearby on the way? Uh, D twelve against me. Okay. Eight. Well, we're loitering right now, by the way. <laughs> Let's just keep loitering in front of these wanted signs. <laughs> signs yeah, we'll see it. Okay, I'm eight. Uh, we tied. Roll again. Okay. All right. Oh, Lord. Uh, I said we tied. Roll again. Yeah, I, I am. It just took oh, a okay. second. Uh, 11. 11. Uh, I had a self. No, no, you're actually not going to pass erotic heart. Okay. <laughs> Uh, it's it's still too early. It's about 10 a.m. They don't open usually till about closer to 11:30. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, anybody got parchment or something? Just drop a piece of paper in front of the guards, no, and we're in. Well, of, well, how much origami paper did you have? Uh, Eckley. 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 Uh, <laughs> I'm texting my family. <laughs> oh Lord! Come on. <laughs> I actually, I have an idea. I have an idea. What okay. am I doing? I wanted to find my lesbian widow. I can pull out my flask and start drinking again. There you go. Get their attention the last time. We'll, we'll pass it back and forth. I was going to say, you are going to be passing that guard tower uh, to the north of the gallows. Yeah. This is going to be so bad. Yeah. Oh, let, let's go it. for it. So... It said we we gotta we get we gotta we gotta make was it uh, make hay while the sun shines and the sun is starting to get a bit low in the sky. Yeah, I'm just like break out that flask, Targa. <laughs> break it out and start drinking and being loud and go here. We, we both are. As you're, as you're approaching the guard post. Sure. Mm -hmm. Caitlin, you and I let's start littering with origami birds. <laughs> We're all getting arrested today, guys. Mm -hmm. But like, if you have thieves' them. tools, shove them up your um first. Yeah, just a suggestion. Do you have glitter in your kit? Do I have glitter in my kit? I have leeches. <laughs> I will put shit leeches. to clean my hands with before I start operating on people. You put leeches on the origamis and like throw them at people. <laughs> oh, don't make him burn. Use that. <laughs> Before okay. I do that, though, can I grab some of my uh, gauze pads from the kit, wrap them around my arm or my leg, so that if they do take them, I have a spare that I could unwrap real quickly to heal somebody else. So, so basically, under under your clothes. Yeah. Uh, give me a. Give me a Constitution check to see how clean clean you generally are. If you roll two, uh, okay. you're going to be soiled naturally. Oh, okay. Does, does that make wow. sense? 19. Okay, you performed your ablutions this morning. You will be able to, they will be usable. They won't be soiled with soiled with effluence. Okay. Mm -hmm. About how many uses do you think I can get out of that? Uh, I'll let you, since you said your kit contains gauze and leeches. <laughs> Uh, I will About half of the yeah, uses, I will, maybe. Long, long, I, I will let you take one uses worth of gauze and leeches for five hit points that you're willing to let go to the leeches. Oh. <laughs> Fair. Five uses. Let's do this. Okay. I'm down <laughs> twenty-five hit points. Hey, it's it, just it, like that last one shot you ran. I'm cool with this. I'm only you said you said gauze and leeches. Is that I think is that not fair? That's that's perfectly fair. Okay, okay. Yeah, no, I, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> okay. Okay. Alrighty. So, so we start littering, they start drinking. Mm-hmm. 
I uh, just want to go home. It does not take long at all. Uh, they come out and uh, again. Oh my God, Kitty! I'm just, just like it. show your boobs, Targa. <laughs> it's Bourbon Street. Go. <laughs> uh, the old the old man over by the gallows does actually seem to have beads for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm wearing I'm wearing leather, you know, and it's gonna take a while to un you know tie it to do that. Oh, you're a killjoy. The, the longest strip. No, I'm not. It's just gonna take a while to do it. This the, this outfit is a killjoy. <laughs> uh, for sake of brevity, they're going to they're going to try to confiscate your drinks, uh, get the litterers to disperse. Uh, if you protest, you'll be hauled in. Yeah, we're we, pro we protest. <laughs> yeah. I don't give it up willingly. You don't have enough origami and birds and glitter and nipple <laughs> leech piercings in your <laughs> life, guys. Piercings, I'm sorry, piercings would have been seven hit points. So you know. <laughs> 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 nipple leech piercings. Nipple leeches. Seriously, that sounds like a band. Torga, we could have used the leeches as paste. Nipple leech piercing. So, uh, they're, they're, yeah, if, you're, if you continue to resist and continue to, they, they will take you in. Uh, they're going to get a couple, you're going to essentially allow yourselves to be restrained, and they're going to get a couple kidney shots in while they're taking you in just because they're dead. Uh, I'm sure. And, 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 oh. and, you know, I'm damn debating that one. I want to do want to let them restrain me and take my weapon because that kind of needs that. Uh, uh, that's going to happen whether you go willingly or not. Yeah. Can I use that rogue ability to take half damage when they try the kidney punches? Just to be like, oh, oh, you I, got I, me I, real I, good. I let you uncanny dodge that. Yes, but once, but, but, but yeah, once we do. Back, we roll oh, yeah. performance checks. Like, oh. <laughs> All right. No, it's fair. It's fair. And, and I'm only, it, it's, it's only going to be two through the whole, you know, between here and when you're incarcerated, it's fine. I'm like, Targa, don't be, forget, it's, it's, it's I an, it's am an, it's a weapon. An unarmed strike. <laughs> it's an unarmed strike. You're each just going to be down eight hit points. Okay. All right, so, so what's the plan, guys? And, and now you are in traveling clothes and unarmed if you had arms. Okay. Uh, you and you essentially again, sake of brevity, you're in the dungeons below town hall. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, how many guards are on us in the in the dungeons? Uh, so, in the dungeon pardon. itself, uh, sparse sparse cells. There's wood wood slat cots, uh, chamber pot. Uh, about six people to a cell. There's ten cells. Uh, oh. Okay. They, they barely had room for you. This seems uh, to be order, order of the day. Okay. So, so what you said is that he's going to deal with us himself, right? No, if you had murdered a guard, he would. Yeah, I which did. we have. So I would imagine they would have deduced who we are. No, there's please. a lot of people who are wanted. I was going to say, if you would want, if you would, if you would make yourself known to the jailer, that would probably be how that would work. Then I'll do that. Because, because these 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 guards are from a different area. Uh, they they weren't they weren't the ones responding. They everyone's on a wanted poster. They're not going to be able to. But yes, if you if you if you bring that up with the jailer, he probably would actually Or I'm gonna murder one of them right now. <laughs> while, they... while, you're behind, while you're behind bars unarmed. Oh no 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 I would have done it when they were starting to restrain me. So before we get into the dungeon. Yeah, but if but if there's another way to do it, then no, I wouldn't necessarily murder one. Because you because you already have. Yeah, yeah. Just, just just bringing that up with the jailer is going to be sufficient if you, if you if you'd like to save yourself <laughs> the risk of losing additional hit points on the way to jail. Hey, you remind me of that guard I killed yesterday at the market and then he set fire to a bunch of people. <laughs> he had it coming. Sure. Okay. So. But 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 let me let me finish explaining what what else is down there first, and then you can tell me what you want to do. So there's there's the cells. There is a single door in and out, uh, heavy wood wood slat uh, grill grill frame window in the top. Mm -hmm. uh, there, it is there there aren't hooks for equipment or anything else down here. 
there is essentially a wooden table with two chairs and two guards playing playing cards that are supposed to be ensuring your safety and making sure that you guys are not escaping. How far away are they? Uh, this is a From pretty size, sizable area. It's going to be about a 500 foot square foot area. Okay. Uh, this the, the cells themselves aren't going to be particularly spacious, but so I'm going to say that half of that space is taken up with the cells. They are by the door. And how far is that from me? Is it a, is it more uh, than thirty a, feet? Uh, 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 so the room itself is twenty five by twenty five. Okay. All right. So. I, or no wait. Five. I I I just I just forgot to math. Uh, what's five hundred? <laughs> What's what's the square root of five hundred? Oh, you are asking the wrong person, pal. <laughs> uh, Kyle. Square root of five hundred. Um, He's looking it up now. <laughs> or you can just say I'm within thirty feet. <laughs> you should be because I think it's I think it's just twenty five by twenty five basically. But it, it, okay. It's Square root of five hundred. I apologize. What's up? Twenty three point three six zero six seven nine seven seven five. Twenty three point six zero. So yeah, they're within yeah, range. Twenty five by twenty five. Okay. So uh, keys. Does it, does there appear to be keys on the table or nearby? Uh, the, the the guards, you know that the guards have them. They are not visible. Okay. They, okay. They, they 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 they're not they're not carrying key rings or anything like that. They have they have it inside of their other jerkins. Oh okay, damn it. Okay, I was hoping they'd have them like loose or like on a thing because um... these are these are not this these aren't rookies. Okay, okay. Well, wait, we're supposed to be taken to the person we're looking to murder, so yeah. So yeah. wait, see when they do that. I was going to say so. Yeah, if, if these these are the jailers. If you would like to try and bring that up with them, I do. Uh, in what manner? Um, so what's supposed to happen to me after all I'm wanted for killing one of you folk yesterday? We got into a scuffle after they tried to take my alcohol. Lucky none of you are dead right now. Boy, uh, she's going, uh, she's going for it, huh? <laughs> you're right. Oh my god, you locked us in here with a murderer! <gasps> These are people who are used to hearing all sorts of shit. Okay. I'm going to have to have you make a performance check to see if you can even get their attention. No. Is, no. Are, the, are there wanted That's posters? Right, so then basically, I should have done what I said I was going to do, is kill a guard on the way in. Uh, well, that's still pretty good. Performance, that's a 17. Okay, yeah. No, no, he hears and, and, and he's feeling particularly sadistic, so he's going to come over and essentially spit at you, and he's going to actually see that, no... I just, to, let me let me finish. He's going to see that actually you are the person from the poster. Yeah, well, show him the side that we didn't cut. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I do that. I said honestly, if it was going to be that difficult, I would have just friggin' murdered and a guard. I would have been easy. And he's going to disappear briefly instead of doing that. You see him leave through the door. He he makes a hand gesture to his compatriot. And he he disappears through the door. He he's gone briefly. Okay. So anyone here else in the jail cell making shanks or anything like that? Uh, hey, we're all jail now? I'm just gonna strangle. Want me just to give you some feathers? <laughs> uh, Nineteen to see if someone's making any shanks. Like anyone in the entire dungeon? I got some leeches. You want a leech for a shank? I don't know if anyone physically working, but you do uh -huh. notice that one of the cots in about two cells over does seem to be missing a sizable sliver, and the person sitting on top of it is sitting rather uncomfortably. <laughs> as, 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 though, as though he were trying to secret it on, him, on his person somehow. Wow. Hey, buddy. You look uh, uncomfortable there. 
Yeah, what of it? <laughs> you want to fast? I'd like to be uncomfortable too, if you don't mind. <laughs> I would suggest uh, that you try and lay down. It's plenty uncomfortable. Or, or, are you speaking in Thieves Camp? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, in that case. I'm glad you remember I had that because I don't. <laughs> He's going to be much more, much more hospitable to you if you are. Yes. Uh, so, so the other day I was at the Morris Drive and I took the little rain and Bob's your uncle and then there you go, it shat on the turtle. And, exactly. uh, yeah. If he has, if he has <laughs> trouble <laughs> removing <laughs> it, I have <laughs> mage hand. Between the two of you, you are able to discern that, uh, Everyone down here has been here for as long as they can fucking remember. This is basically you're 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 here until you die. It, even though you're always awaiting trial. Sure. Uh, like death row in real life. Yeah, he's 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 hoping that he might be able to uh, have an opportunity to assault one of the guards and escape, but he knows that they carry the keys around their neck on a on a key on a necklace. Uh, their armor's heavy enough that anyone who's actually tried to pierce with anything that they've had here, such as like a wooden wooden splinter yeah, has sure. been fairly unsuccessful. He's just using that one at the moment for his own enjoyment. Does he have a spare he can lend for a leech? Uh, no, but he will point out that there are, he will, he will point to the weakest point on your, on your slat. I've seen Ninja and Turtles enough time to know what happens here, man. Yes, Master Splinter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> mm, you got uh, that. Sh you got that shank ready. That's what I'm working on. Yep. Uh, I'm going to. Uh, I would, if you don't use some of the bandages that you have on your person to, to wrap a pommel you're going to cause yourself to take piercing damage from splinters as you as you wield it. Sure, I'll skin one of the leeches and wrap its flesh to make a leather handle. <laughs> Fair enough. That's awesome. Uh, so like, one I, use down. I'm like, I, 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 except how? You're going to make me say I'm going to use the splinter to skin it, thus injuring myself as I do it. Fine, I'll use a bandage, you son of a bitch. <laughs> then I'll skin the leech, remove the bandage, put the leech on. Done. You just shoot your bird, too, you know. So uh, he's able to do that all, all while this other guard does seem to be focused intently on Torga. Uh, his his compatriot that went up that went that disappeared has effectively you you're able to discern giving him orders to keep a close eye on that one because she's fucking crazy. I'm dangerous. That's uh, crazy. Dangerous. After uh, after Teddy has successfully uh, made it. Uh, what what are, what are you going to do with that after you're done with it, Teddy? Uh, I'm. Ooh. I'm probably going to walk around. Well, how difficult is it going to be to remove a splinter from my butthole? Give me a medicine check. Oh. Ah, that is going to be a 22. You know that you should stick it in pommel first since you created the pommel to prevent that action, to prevent that difficulty. Unless that's what you wanted. Well, I, hmm. how Maybe thoroughly sure. were we checked before we came in? Not at all. Not at all? Okay, so they would probably check us more thoroughly if they were going to take us to the boss man, one would assume, yes? Uh, you get the impression, this is, this is uh, receiving. This is, this is, this is like, the, this is, uh -huh. This is this is for the petty crimes. You you, you <coughs> seem, petty you, crimes, huh? Here here in Boss Man, there's an intermediate level. Okay, we'll you, go you, pommel you, first you, then. Yeah, 
Okay. Uh, after you successfully secret that upon your person. Mm -hmm. oh, wrecked him. Nearly killed him. <laughs> wrecked him. Rector damn near gave her a high paying job with a salary and benefits. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, it, it, you're able to successfully do that again because she is drawing the focus of the other guard who is down there with you uh, about the time that you're completing that up. The one returns with three other, let's call them much more burly looking individuals uh, that are all nicknamed Tiny. Uh-huh. <laughs> and uh, he points you out to them and uh, they open up, the, you, you were all thrown in the same cell but just for convenience sake. Uh, and you are, uh, you're, you're expected to comply with being restrained again so that you can be led elsewhere. You're, you don't know where, but you get the impression that that's, that's what's expected of you. All right, that's fair. Um, I'm debating why not I speak up and, you know what, I am, because I think we should all be involved in this. Like, you know, I should take these three too. They were with me, they they helped kill that guard. And I'm like, what the slandering you son of a, dwarves, am I right? <laughs> Swear. Uh, does anyone want to protest? Or, or is that what you're actually doing? That's what I'm actually doing. I'm they, not, don't, they don't care. I'm not denying or anything they, they like know, that, they, but I'm they, like... They, they, they don't care. At this point, suspicion is cause enough. Right. Uh, I shove Torga into... Oh, okay. They're going to take us anyway? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, take all yeah. of us? I will still shove Torga into one of the guards, give her a slight eye wink, to be like, yeah, shove me back. But obviously not saying that out loud. I'm hoping to convey that. Hey, here's the big question. Are my hands behind me or in front of me? They would essentially be behind you as you're as you're about to be restrained and, and led elsewhere. So shoving her into one of the guards is just going to oh. grab her. Ah, darn. Okay, I, I shove... Uh, unless, you, unless you explain that better, because I'm trying to picture what's okay. going on here. Anyway. I'm essentially trying to pick a fight to where I get shoved into one of the guards and I accidentally pocket something from him, hopefully a set of keys. Now it's under his breastplate. I have barber surgeon fingers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, I guess she's, she's already in the process of being restrained. Mm -hmm. So you pushing her into him, she wouldn't have a chance to get back. Okay. Is, is 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 how I'm going to rule on that. Well, I do have a strength of 17. So you're going. So you're going to resist then. Absolutely, he shoved me. I'm going to punch him. Okay. So give uh, first. Uh, I'm going to say that you're starting that grappled. So try and break the grapple. Unless you want to use an attack with your legs, I'll I'll let you kick off against. No. Him. I will make an athletics check to go against his grapple because I'm pretty okay. sure that's what you do. Yeah, that is, what the hell is that? That is a 15. You break free from his grasp. Yeah, absolutely, no problem. Uh, that's your, I'll, I'll say that that's your bonus, bonus action. Hmm. Do I want to just punch this guy? Oh, there's these guys. Well, the, the, one, the one who pushed you is Teddy. Yeah, I punch it. I take a punch at you, although I'm sort of pulling my punch so I don't actually hurt you. Well, I'll, I'll deal. I'll, I'll, I'll roll friendly fire. I'll roll uncanny. Well, I gotta roll. Actually, hit him. I was going to say, so you'll take quarter damage. I'm fine with cool. that. Well, I probably did not hit you, anyways. Uh, that's only. Well, I don't know. It depends on if you have no armor on. Not a that, Jack I Diddley worth. Think. Oh, that's only. Uh, that's a twelve. Wow, yeah, that just misses. <laughs> I only rolled a six and I got a plus six for an arm. Okay. Uh, if that's how we're going to do it, I'm going to make a little initiative. Dun, no. dun, dun. Natural 20. And let you, except, you know what? 
no, I'm not. I'm going to rule that you will each have two rounds to try and figure out what you want to do while the guard who was who had brought in tiny and tiny mm -hmm. blows the whistle. Mm. I want to, these other two guards aren't going to these the guard nothing's going to happen for two rounds, but in two rounds you're going to be overpowered. Do we know where our stuff was taken? Uh, it was it's not down here. It was taken from you uh, upon arrival to the lower level. That you pass through two rooms to get to the dungeon before you get back to the stairs upstairs. But in two rounds, there are going to be eight tinies here, and you are not going to overpower them unless. But it's it's bottlenecked. You're not going to overpower them. So figure out what you want to do. I would like to, uh, since she swung and miss, I'm going to jump at one of the tinies, be like, oh God, she's trying to kill me. Just clawing and scraping away and slip the key off. First, I'm going to have you roll to hit to see if you get the keys. And then I'll have you sleight of hand to see if he notices. Because it's okay. under his, it's under his breastplate. It's under his breastplate, sure. Uh, on a chain around his neck. I think I'll be okay. Uh, just dexterity to hit or dexterity. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll let you use your dexterity. That's fine. <clears throat> okay, uh, twenty-two with okay, just yeah, dexterity. Yeah, you're able. To, you're able to get a grasp on him. Okay. And that. Oh, thank God. Uh, twenty-seven to sleight of hand. And yeah, he's he's more he's more confused by, well, uh, hang on, um, I guess I need I should roll a little bit. Yeah, yeah, he's more confused by what the fuck you're doing, trying to feel feel up his man boobs. <laughs> sure, um, so, yeah, I can yeah. sleight of hand as bonus action because I'm a thief. Um, so yes, I'm I'm saying that that was all grabbing grabbing those and and removing them was one action. To hide them is going to be your bonus action, and that's going to be sleight of hand as well. Unless you want to carry them proudly out the door. Yeah, let's hide them. Um, that was less good. Um, 17 to hide them. Uh, I rolled a four, so the other guard who would notice this doesn't notice that. Okay, they so slip right onto that uh, splinter like a little dangly keychain. Uh, I love it. The pointy end is facing out. Give me, uh, give me a death save. <laughs> yep. I shouldn't have said anything. Okay, uh, nineteen plus six. You successfully. Yeah. <laughs> I'm better with a splinter than I am with my shaving kit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's that's. Uh, Good job. Uh, who else wants to do something before you're overpowered? Okay, so uh, tiny, uh, one of the tinies is mixed up with Teddy right now, right? Correct. In a brouhaha. Uh, Torga is where? Torga is, uh, is basically in front of other tiny. Okay. And, and where am I? Like towards the back? That's your call. Okay. Huh. And is there anybody in front of Tiny? The first Torga's Tiny. Torga. The, oh, Torga. Fine. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. <laughs> uh, are we in the hallway still or are we still in the this dungeon? Happened in your cell. This happened while this happened in the entryway to your cell. Okay. Well, in seeing that, then uh yeah, uh chamber pots nearby uh abs yeah with it. <clears throat> you can grab one and yeah absolutely okay um uh, d12 against me all right let me know if there's more than one <laughs> are we trying to break out now or are we trying to get caught well, up now? i was i thought we were we were being <laughs> brought to the leader. i am now rather confused on what's going on okay um <laughs> He said roll initiative, so I mean, 
So are you struggling or are you trying to make a, a break for it, Kyle, or what? My idea was to make a distraction so I would have the keys so that when we needed to strike, I could unlock shackles. Oh. Oh, you wanted the handcuff keys. Oh, yeah. shit, I grabbed the wrong keys. <laughs> and well, they, had I known this... <laughs> one would, would think they would be together. Yeah, well, I didn't roll initiative, so I'm not really in this. <laughs> so. well, no, I, said, I said we're not rolling initiative. You're about to be overpowered. At the end of the next round, you're going to be overpowered by tinies. Okay, and, so and, let's and let the tinies take, take us to the bars. So anything that you want to do before then... Nothing. I'm going to let the tinies take me away. Uh, to... What was your up against me, just out of curiosity? Uh, it was a 10. The chamber pot is full. Oh, God, that would have been awful. All right. You're going to get slugged across the face if you do that. <laughs> <laughs> next attack's coming to you. Tiny take. Uh, any, anything you want to do, Birdie? <clears throat> uh, no, I'm just, I'm, I'm going to go I with said, it. I said, I said Birdie. Oh, Birdie. Yeah, Birdie, now. <laughs> no? Bye-bye, uh, bye, Birdie. Okay, so you're going to just wait and as, as, as when the Swarm of Tinies come, because you were sold uh, up the river by Torga as being an associate, you're going to allow them to take you? Me? Are, yeah, you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Know, I'm just going wherever the group's going. Just going just with the flow, man. That- yeah. Is to me, the info I have is good, and this is where we're going to be taken. This is where we want to go. It, it, essentially, yes. That's what that's. The, you're being taken to level. You you've graduated to level two. Level three is where he's at. But, I thought we were being taken to where he's at. No, because now you're going to go be taken to the torture chamber. All right. You know what? Maybe we should throw the chamber pot in this situation. He will arrive at the torture chamber. Okay, this is to, 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 deal, as, to deal as appropriately. Yeah, I'm sorry. This is not what you said that you take him to to us. All right. I said, well, no. I said you were getting taken elsewhere. No, you said we'd be taken to the boss if we killed the guard, and he wanted to deal with us. I said he would deal with you personally, and now you're being taken in. To, no. Now you're going to be taken elsewhere to be searched so that he can deal with you. Good. Yes. But he's going to deal with us in the torture chamber. Correct. Well, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. He's, as long yeah. as he shows up, that's all I care. That was yes, he's, he's, not getting, he's not getting his hands dirty down here, but you're, you're, you're being led elsewhere and you're going to be tied up, made, made easy, 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 easy fodder. And then he's going, and then he, and he's, he's not going to show up unless you're helpless. We'll see. Well, yeah, that, that's, but I'm, I'm telling you, you understand the logic behind that, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. He's okay. Lord Farquaad in Shrek 3. Effectively, yes. Okay, so Tiny's overpower you all, take you out, take you. Uh, when you were coming in, you didn't actually notice this, but there was a stairwell that led down in the same area that had stairs leading up. You are being taken to the under dungeon. Yes. Uh, Our uh, stuff down there too, isn't it? Uh, no, <laughs> your stuff would be, was, was, you still don't know where your things are, but as you're being led back to that room, you do notice a couple familiar items scattered about in a pile in uh, the second room. So there's the stairwell, there's the stairwell, there's a receiving room, and then there's the cells. And in that receiving room, it looks like they just basically threw your shit in a pile in the corner. Good to know. Uh, you, you don't have the opportunity to try and get anything because you did allow yourselves to be restrained by tinies to be led downstairs. So, uh, I'm, I'm, again, I'm just saying that, so, at you, unless uh, unless you want to stop me, I okay. think we're okay, okay for you now. You were successfully <laughs> led, led downstairs by tinies. They all seem to look amazingly identical, oddly enough. <laughs> uh, like Sweetums, like Sweetums from Looney Tunes, or no, from from the Muppets. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
everyone, 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 roll a d4. D4. Oh. If you match. Four. If we match. Yeah, if you match, re-roll. Oh, that's three of us so far. Three. Did three of us get four? I, I, yeah. I, I, I need each of you to have a unique number. I have okay, a three. You well, that's gonna be that's gonna be hard to do because there's four of us to. I'm roll keeping four. the four. God, okay. I care. I'll be for the rest of the roll. So then I'm one. There we oh, go. I bother. <laughs> okay. That just makes it too difficult. Kyle, uh, Kyle. Yes. You are led into a Iron Maiden. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> Carol, with Sorry. a one, you are placed onto a rack secured by iron manacles. How many guards are there? Uh, there's still the eight tinies overseeing, well, all, overseeing all of this. Yeah, all of this. No, 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 the, guards, the guards did not accompany the tinies. Okay, and they're not in the same. Okay, so we each have two. Effectively, yes. Uh, Bertie, you are being uh, put in a gibbet, uh, essentially a birdcage that's being held uh, uh, suspended from the ceiling. This is so racist. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one that was definite. And Devin, you were put in front of a table with cake. Oh, okay. Chocolate cake. Chocolate cake. Uh, uh, I've seen uh, Matilda. It, it, it's, actually, like it's actually uh, 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 red velvet, but with cream cheese icing. Nice. Is it red velvet and is it icing? And you are left unrestrained. I am left unrestrained. Okay. Uh, there, Eat is, that there, cake. Is, there is a there is a large crude wooden spoon in front of the cake. Don't wow. eat. <laughs> eat it. Don't go there. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna eat that. <laughs> Tempting Wait. as it is, but no. Okay. Uh, All right. If you if you want to protest, now is the time. Otherwise, you are going to be. What I'm going to call securely in those positions as the tinies leave. It's in common. Could I throw a leech in the door of the Iron Maiden before it shuts so it is propped open? How? With a leech. How? <laughs> I take the one of the. Your, 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 your arms are restrained. Wait, He's I get being let in. Have have a piece of your shirt get caught in there, but don't have it. Have hanging. a piece of gauze get cut in there. Or a piece of gauze. Give me a dexterity check. Yeah, I'm I'm tempted to give you a disadvantage, but I won't. I appreciate that. Um, Thirteen. Uh, that's high enough to get something caught, but I'm I'm gonna say that you're gonna take uh, damage for that as well. I'm gonna say I'm gonna give you one d six for that as well because it wasn't high enough to not avoid the puncture. Sure. That's damage worth taking though. Six. Considering I'm the one with the keys. Yeah. See, I'm gonna. Go I can't over. uncanny dodge that, correct or no? Because I imagine if I uncanny dodge. <laughs> I'm backing into more spikes. Give it to yourself, and I don't think that you can make a, a reaction as response to your one of your actions. Done. So, mm -hmm. I'm gonna have faith in uh, Teddy that Teddy will get us unlocked. And and, and I'm not resisting. And being confined in there, Teddy, uh, you will not take damage unless you move any more excessively than normal breathing. Okay. It, despite the fact that I have the door that I could potentially push but open. I, I, I'm going to say, you're going to have to, you're going to have to pierce yourself 
there, to there's open not the a door. Way, there's, there's not a way to open it from the inside. The handle's on the outside. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the medic, man. Why am I taking <laughs> all of this shit? I know, I'm like, yeah, like you're, if you want to open it, you're going to have to damage yourself in some way, but you have that option sure. available to you now. Okay. I will wait until I don't hear anybody or if I hear an all clear. Yeah, you don't you don't hear anything, but you don't hear the incoherent murmurings of the tinies anymore. And you hear a couple doors close and kind of deduce that they've gone back to where whatever hibernation chamber they live in. Actually, so there's, there's actually, nobody else in the room. Uh, actually, no, no. I will, I will whisper. I will whisper so that because I'm pretty sure he can't see what's going on. So I'll whisper to him that, okay, coast is clear. Get us the fuck out of here. Uh, he, he would be able to hear the same things that you're able to hear. Not, not, none of you are able to see Can, that. I should be able. Uh, I'm not undercover. It's because they, they went. They went out the door. Right. Then, I oh. know when. Yeah, but he's in a freaking completely closed up thing. I'm yeah. out in the open. Miss Birdcage is out in the open, and he's definitely out in the open. Basically, I'm saying you all have that information. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's what I'm trying to deduce. <laughs> so they're, right. they're, there's no, they just left and, and us. They, yes, and you are left completely they free. think that we're all about all... the cabin. I am I, going uh, to Jesus myself now and open up the Iron Maiden. I was going to open it for you. I would have asked uh, Davrin to open it for me. Yeah, so I, I'm gonna <laughs> save him. I'm gonna save his hands. So I'm gonna walk up and I'm gonna go open the Iron Maiden. That's true. I don't uh, even have to oh, thank God! Oh, oh, these are my money makers. That would have been horrible. Well, oddly enough, you did that simultaneously, so I'm still gonna have you. Damn it! <laughs> I can't heal that much. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. You have some hit points. Uh, that one's only two. Level. That one's only two. Okay. Okay. Uh, this. So now, again, observing this room, there isn't anything else in this room. There's the spoon, the cake. There's a, a crude wooden bench it's on a crude wooden table. It's round. It's not particularly long, cumbersome. Uh, mm -hmm. There's the gibbet, the Iron Maiden, the rack. Uh, there do seem to be a couple levers on the wall, but you're not sure what exactly it is that they do. Mm -hmm. uh, you're not able to do so. There don't seem to be any ropes or anything connected to them. It's it's kind of obscure precisely what they might do. Okay. Um, and then this has a door also similar to the door to the main entrance of the dungeon. Okay. Uh, if everything uh, is not locked, if like the, the is she able to be released from the the rack? That is going to require a lockpick. That's going to require a lockpick. Or keys. I hope. Uh, D12 against me. Sure. Be a useful tiny four. Watch him. Four. 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 Uh, actually, with a three, yeah. Though it turns out, turns it turns out it's a skeleton key. Yeah, I give the skeleton key to Davrin, and I will actually take the time to start unbinding one of those bandages and getting my hands fixed up, and I'll use a use to heal myself. Okay, uh, so exactly how much damage are you going to take as you pry the leeches from yourself? Come on, man! <laughs> I know that, that, I'm, that I'm just being difficult. No, you're fine. You <laughs> pull the leeches off your. Never mind. <laughs> no, 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 that, that's just me being difficult. You're fine. All right, I uh, have expended one of the uses. I have fourteen so more hit points. Aside, even, even though you had eight remaining. You had eight, but we said you only went in with five because you only took five worth of damage. I started off with 20, so yeah. Well, yeah, regardless, however many you had, that you entered down to five. I'm down to five. I have 13 somewhere at the moment, so now I have four uses left. Okay, that works. That's what I was okay. checking. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Uh, she is still... Uh, looking very uncomfortable. I'm going to actually give you a round of exhaustion, Carol, if you're not released this round. A round of exhaustion. Mm -hmm. uh, Tamron, what are you if, doing? If, if, no, if, I, I said I'm going to <laughs> unlock her. Yeah, if you're not released this round. Okay, I'm taking the skeleton key and I'm going to un unlock uh, Torga. Cool. 
Yeah, and so, uh, I'm looking for the go. rope or the lever to release Birdie's cage. It is suspended from a metal hook. Okay. Ha- Tiny, guys, Tiny, I have an idea. Tiny was a nickname. He was a what? Tiny was a nickname. Oh. <laughs> All right. So he lifted her up and. Yeah. Oh, crap. Oh. All right. Um... And by that, I mean about 12 feet. They were they were ogres. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> well, guys, I uh, no, I can't jump twelve feet. Uh, is there a lock on the cage? You do see, yes. There, there's a visible padlock. Okay, I cage man, uh, mage hand with uh, the key and guide what is, it up what there. Is your arcane focus. Ooh. Um. Probably in the room. Oh, <laughs> uh, my wand is it? Yeah, my wand's probably with the other stuff. So, uh, but it only, I mean, Mage Hand, I mean, do I need an arcane focus? I'm a sorcerer to, to cast. Uh, sorcerer is an eight spell casting, so no, I'll say you don't. Okay. All right. Uh, would Mage Hand be one of the spells that, that would be innate to me? And sorcerer, sorcerers are innate spellcasters. I'm, I'm going to say, I'm going to actually say you don't need one. Okay, thank you. So I'm going to use Mage Hand and I'm going to unlock Birdie. Okay. Uh, you you gave him the keys, all that. Yeah, we'll yep. resolve the problem. Okay. Uh, do you want to hop down? Yeah, Birdie, are you hopping out? Yep, I like go and I stretch my wings and it's all magical. <laughs> Okay. Like an angel. Uh, give, give, give me a performance check. <laughs> oh. By the way, guys, uh, you're going to have to lock yourselves all back in because we're going to spring a trap, right? Yeah, um, I was thinking. I, mean, I thought I thought we were just going to fight our freaking way out, or are we just going to unlock everything and get back in place? Unlock, grab our stuff with the two sneaky rogues, Birdie and Teddy Sod. Okay. And then come back, give everyone their weapons, pretend to lock each other away, and then spring out and kill them. Yep. I, I was going to give everyone a in, round of inspiration if Birdie had her, done her done her graceful swan dive, but I think she told me she had three. So oh, okay. Oh, come on! <laughs> so is this the plan? This is what I'm asking. This is the plan, right? Is this the plan? This is my suggestion. Okay. Wow, that uh, went. Tor- Torga, we need a consensus. So, or is this what we're going to do? We're going to. Kind of hurts for me to be in that, but well, maybe we can loosen it up. Exactly. Not... Exactly. You wouldn't get over the or stretch it out nearly as far if you were to place yourself back on it. Yeah, you could place yourself back on it and just put your hands behind your hand with your hammer in your hand and just. I don't no. I don't think we can put the hammer in my hand. The hammer would have to go probably underneath it. Well, the hammer is elsewhere. We they're gonna go get it, or oh, I'm looking. Oh, you're going to go from... into the room where the guards were with, because there was the room with your shit that was receiving. Yeah, there's but, guards in that room. That's what Teddy. Yeah, he said he was gonna roguey, sneaky, sneaky kind of okay. thing uh, with uh, Birdie's help. You don't necessarily have to. What is in this room that could be, I could use as a weapon, like as a weapon? Uh, the wooden weapon. spoon looks awfully heavy. What's that? That wooden spoon looks awfully heavy. I pick it. Is it like a hammer? No, no. no there's, there's. Uh, you would have to basically. Uh, I would break one of the handles off of the wall, off of the oh, levers. The I would, I would, I'd break one of the levers off of the, off of the wall. Um, all right, I can try that. I that, mean, that would probably be up that with your bare hands, that's probably the only thing that you're going to be able to use. Uh, the cake does happen to be sitting on a bronze platter. Nah, I want, I, I'll try a lever. Boy, all these subtle clues there. Bronze platter, heavy spoon. <laughs> that's a dirty 20 for a strength check to, to pop a lever off. Okay, uh, yeah, you, you pull the lever, uh, you it, it was in the up position. You pull it down. Uh, where is everyone right now? So can I treat that basically like a where, war? Where is everyone right now? I will be next to the door listening for tinies to enter. Or the guy. 
or the guy. Yeah, right. Where where is everyone else? Um, uh, <laughs> uh, I I I am nearby, Teddy. I'm on on the ground. Mm -hmm. uh, Birdie. I'm somewhere near everyone on the ground. Okay, you're, you're, you're not back in the cage. No, not in the cage. Okay, okay. That that's what I was. That's all I needed to check because yeah. Upon, you do successfully pull the lever off of the wall. Okay. But doing so, you've also activated whatever mechanism it was it was associated with. And <laughs> the cage uh, shoots up to the ceiling. That's uh, fair. Which is about another 20, 20 feet. Wow, damn. So. Good thing Eckley was out of the cage. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go, I guess, so we'll get back in our, well, you and, and, and that is, that is a combination of wood and iron. Wood and so iron. So I'm, I'm, going, to, I'm going to consider it to be a club. All right, let me add that to my list here. All right, just go on, go on, go on. Uh, uh, I will get back onto the rack and I'll adjust it and make before it. Before we start, does anyone need any healing? Uh, no. No, I seem to. I seem to be okay. So, uh, Eckley, how are you? I'm okay. All, All right. right. Well, I'm glad I'm the only one hurting myself for you guys. <laughs> you each have, uh, this is fair warning, you have one round to get into place. I get in place. Shove the, uh, I shove the club right underneath and I get in the place. Fine. Yeah. Same thing. Get Here's back in. Ball. Is there a place to hide behind the door? Because I would not like, or a place to hide behind the Iron Maiden. The door does, the, the door opens in. Okay. So should you should you elect to position yourself there, you would be absurd <coughs> as the door is pushed in, if that's what you're wanting to do. Let's do that. Okay. Uh, where, where's Birdie going? The cage just disappeared. You're you're road, Birdie. I I'd suggest you to find a shadow or something to hide in. Yeah, I pretend to be a shadow, or I pretend to be a statue in the shadows. Just like. Uh, I'm trying to think where that would be. Oh, okay. We'll say that you're under the table. Okay. And my wings are up, so it's like I am the table. Okay, okay. you're a, you're, an, you're an ornate carving. Uh, it's it's a cloth it's a cloth footed bathtub, except it's a bird bird uh, bird stand. Yeah. Okay. There <laughs> we well, go. You know, I thought of like maybe she'd be behind the door. That's so that's that where that's where Teddy is. You could shut it and lock it. That's that's where Teddy is. Oh, okay. So you're not going to be in the. Thanks right. for listening, Torga. God. <laughs> okay. It is late. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah. But that's cool. yeah, yeah. I'm trying to wrap this up. Okay. So again, gravity. Uh, before too much longer, you hear. Guess what, guys? It's another kid. It's another kid. Yeah. Is the kid, the the. Is this why this place is a horrible dystopia? It it's is. President. It There's is. Sinbad, the bodyguard. Oh, well, no. The actual shadow ruler happens to be his mother, Ida. Oh. Okay. So, wait. We did not know it was a kid? No, we didn't. It, it's, it's, I, it's, it's how it's actually Howard Feltersnatch Jr. Howard Feltersnatch uh, died, and they just kept the name going. It's kind of like the Dread Pirate Roberts. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Uh, so. he, but it's it's his 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 grandmother Ida, Ida Felter Snatch, <laughs> is essentially the one that instilled the legacy and is continuing it along. But this kid is a sadist. He's he's, he's about fifteen. He's not really a kid kid. Oh, okay. no, nope, that's not a really no. That's it, not it's Joffrey. Yeah. Oh. yeah. It, there oh, you go. wait, That's okay. You go. Perfect, perfect Game of job. Thrones. I thought you were talking about Joffrey Dimmer. I'm like, whoa, hey, guys. Yeah, it, it, it's, you it's, know uh, what? I have he, no regrets. He's got one eye that's like slightly higher than the other. Gotcha. I'll have no regrets killing this little shit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he comes in, and skipping in, 
squealing with glee, thinking he's going to get to. I, you get the impression that he's probably going to rape the corpses. Oh, what a horrible oh, oh boy. What a horrible little shit. <laughs> so, have at him. He, Let's murder him! He's completely blindsided by. He, 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 he swings the door open, un, unconcerned, enters, sees the cake on the table, sits down, and starts to eat. I will grab. The th grab the club underneath, and I'm gonna go up, and I'm gonna just club him, like what do they say, club him like a seal. I <laughs> will shit out a shank and stab him. <laughs> DC eight. DC eight. For you, Kyle. For me. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Anyone attacking him? AC eight. Oh, AC. Eight. Oh, okay. Eight. Oh, okay. I have done it. <laughs> Oh my god, all right, so let's see. Do I think it's going to take both attacks? I'm, you know what, I'm not going to do... God, do I feel like this is going to take a bunch of damage and oh, I should blow, shoot the loot, shoot my load, so to speak? Uh, 21 as <laughs> I stab him in the back cow. of the neck. He's a Augustus looking child. You know what, because I'm friggin' angry at this little shite. I'm that angry. I'm going to use Great Weapon Master for the minus. Oh my God, you fucking kidding. Well, that's a. Uh, Did well, you get so less than an eight? I got, yeah, I rolled a nat one, but I also rolled a 19, which is a crit. Do you get, does Great Weapon Master give you advantage? What would explain that? No, to you take a minus five to get 10 damage. So you, so you had a nat one and so, oh, so you did two attacks. I did two attacks. I get two attacks around because I'm a fighter. So and I have a 19 with the crit. The one hits, I will say that you don't disarm yourself. Uh, I it's was going to sneak up and attack him, so you wanted to hit give me, me. Give me. Give me an even or odd to see if you hit Teddy. Uh, that's fair. Um, that's fair. That's okay. fair. No. Fuck you, Teddy. Okay, so that's a, so even. Uh, if you match me, if you match him, you hit him. If you don't, you don't. All right. Well, I rolled a two on a d6. You said so, odd or even. So even or odd. Even. She hits you. She hits oh, me. Okay. Um, <sighs> sorry, man. Good you thing you got the med kit. kit. <laughs> yeah, good thing I used the med kit. <laughs> Great weapon masters, 10 plus 10 damage, right? Yep. Yeah. Well, it's a miss, so I don't know how you would do that. Is it half? I'm going to call it friendly fire. I'm going to have it. And so that's 20 points of damage. If you want to have it, then it's only 10. Uh, I should have rolled a fighter. But I rolled a 19 <laughs> on the other die, which said for a champion, that is a crit. Okay. And that's going to be, the kid's got 10 hit points. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The great weapon master immediately will have to take care of him. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. You, you, you successfully obliterate him. Uh, can I use my healer's kit, bring him back up to one HP, and then stab him again real quick? <laughs> I'm willing to expend a use to get my revenge personally. I will allow you to do that as many times as you like. Uh, well, I can do it four times. Well, I was going to say, if everyone, if everyone would like a stab, murder on the Orient Express style. Everyone want to murder on the Orient Express? Let me know when y'all are done. I'm going to set the little bastard on fire. <laughs> All right. Grandmother, too? Well, she's dead. Good, no, good question, Carol. I'm thinking I want to because this whole family, she's the one raising them to be like this. Oh, I fine. think we take that's up the whole fine. family. We'll, we'll, we'll no resolve that in a second because. <laughs> yeah, we'll find out she's really a big boss and she's got like a thousand hit points and she's a dragon. <laughs> We're going to be here all night, folks. She's the, the mother of dragons. We're, we're, we're fine. We, we got about five minutes left. Here. So we kill him twice, bring him back twice, or bring him back twice. And kill him however times we need to. Okay, well, you're only going to get through twice because Grandma yeah. was behind him because she wanted to see that little Snooky Kims was enjoying the cake. Oops. Hey! 
And I'm trying to save him, but these murderers! Oh no! And she happens to be a Banderhob. Bander. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. So we're going to do initiative, final battle. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so she is a monster. So initiative. Uh, uh, Oh, <laughs> right. I rolled a one, so four. I rolled two, so I rolled six. <laughs> I rolled a three, so I also rolled six. Who rolled a four? Yeah. And Birdie? Birdie. Birdie, Birdie. Hey. I said it before, no one listens. Your sound Carol out. keeps talking I, I, over I, I you. I still didn't hear the number. I heard nobody listens. What's the number, Birdie? What's the number? Six, S- 16. You can't roll a 61. <laughs> One, six. Okay, okay, there we go. Okay, she had, a, she had a 12, so you actually get to go first. You do see this large... Large, cumbersome, almost frog-like creature coming, entering the room seems to be a little irritated. This is Ida. Okay. Ida, Ida Felter Snatch. <laughs> I do my bonus action. Can I do a bonus action? I don't it's, know. It's, it's your turn. You it's your do. turn. You can either you take your bonus, bonus action bonus. first. Yeah, yeah. I take my bonus action to make my sword on fire. <laughs> Do some bird calls. <laughs> is, is, is that part of is that part of the item item description? Yeah, I have to like say the words. Okay, you're activating it. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So if that's your bonus action. So you can use so you can still attack. All right. Twenty two. Oh, that'll hit. Nice. And. Uh, It deals an extra 2d6 fire damage. Oh, wow. All right. So regular damage is three. Three, and then the fire damage is? Is 11. So 14 total? Yeah. Cool. All right, not too shabby. Not um, sure. that brings us to her. She has a uh, 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 does the fire on your sword persist, Bertie? It lasts until I do another bonus action or I put the sword away. Okay, so it it'll stay it'll stay illuminated. Yep. Until you un- until you sheath it. Gotcha. I needed to know that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, because of that, that's going to affect what she does. She is going to go over to you, and she is going to attempt to tongue you. Tongue? She's gonna, yeah. she's gonna slip you the tongue. She's gonna slip you the tongue. Actually, she's gonna she's going to do that from the entryway. She's not actually going to enter the room. She's going to, but she's gonna slip you the tongue. So. With my feathers. Uh, that is a 16 to hit. Hits. It hits, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're gonna take, but she did, She wants that light out. That's nine necrotic damage. And give me a strength save. Oh my God, terrible, six. Okay, uh, because you failed that. Uh, she is going to pull you up right up next to her and she gets to bite you as a bonus. I mean, I figured I'd be close to her anyway, right? Well, as long as you're within 10 feet. Five feet, I had to be in five feet. She pulls you, she pulls you right in and she gets to bite you as a bonus. Uh, And that's 17. Uh, Uh, I need another, uh, another, Uh, no, you're automatically grappled. 
uh, and you are going to take an additional Ten, thirteen, eighteen, twenty. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> twenty piercing damage. Twenty. Twenty. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm I'm unconscious. You're, you're unconscious. Yeah. yeah, you're not dead yet. <laughs> ah, ah. Look, my rolls tonight, most likely. So that's all she can do, though. Woo. Uh, up next, uh, Carol and Kyle Tide. Uh, I will use one of the healing kits as an action to bring Birdie back up to one. I will use my bonus action of using an object to use my last uh, healing kit to heal you for shit. Uh, you would get healed for 10 hit points. So you're up, Birdie. You got 10. So you are up to 11 now. Yeah. And I will say that as you went unconscious, she did not continue to grapple you. So you are you are prone, but not restrained. Okay. And my sword is, I guess, unflamed at this point. Does it go unflamed if the user dies? Does anyone know? It says it's if I drop if... it or if I if put it away. Drop, if you drop it. Okay, yeah, you would have dropped it. Yeah. Okay, so that Orca. works. My uh, turn. Yeah. All right, so if it's my turn, then I'm going to step up short and I'm going to try to beat her a lot. Okay. So two attacks. Oh, hey, that's another 19 on a die. Oh, and I meant to say Great Weapon Master. So that's another 19 on a die, but I'm not sure about this other one. Because that's only in a, yeah, that's only a six because of the great weapon master. But the 19 is a crit. So, oh, it's a club. It's not a great club, it's just a club. Because it's, it's, yeah, not... it's a club. So actually, the damage is terrible. It's going to take forever to freaking kill her. Not really. Yeah. Not, not really. That is um, really down 25%. six points of damage on a crit. And do you get two attacks? That was the only one that hit. I told you the other one doesn't. I'm going to use an accent search to do the other one. Oh, wow. 10 and 10. So I get two more attacks. So that's two 16s. It's only 15 to hit. Yeah. So they both hit. So that's another 2d4. So that's six plus three plus three actually I should get oh well, that's that's right six plus six plus six is twelve points from both of those attacks totally? yeah okay. yeah it's only d4 for a club okay well and that's fine she didn't have full health anyways because she's an old bitty uh so that was an action surge and that was action surge okay all right, uh, David. <laughs> okay, I am going to use that bronze platter that the cake was on, and I am going to cast Catapult, so she'll need to do a 15 dex, which she's a Vanderhub, so that's taking a risk. Uh, not really, not that much. <laughs> she only has a plus one to dex. That's a cool idea, David. This yeah, is she cool only idea. has a plus one to dex, and she rolled an 11. Oh, okay, so she fails. All right. <sighs> Catapult, yeah, catapult at uh, second level. So, uh, come on, big bucks, no whammies. Eighteen points of damage. Okay, uh, finish her off, Birdie. I'm sorry. Birdie. Yep, you are on the ground. The sword is right next to you. Uh, she is fucked up. You have those leech nipple piercings you wanted? Trying to, eat, trying to eat the cake. Ew. Wait, am I not attacking her or am I attacking her? You're okay. attacking. All okay. right. So it's your turn. Do I have to use my turn to pick up my sword? No, you can bonus action pick it up. I, I, will, I will let you pick it up 
if you use your if you use your half of your movement to get up, I will say that you can do that as part of that action. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that. Okay. And so then, you you're wielding your sword again. It's still on. It's still not inflamed again. But no, no. Nah. If, if you want to use your bonus to light it and attack, you're you're allowed to do that. I can. Can I do that again? Can I keep putting it on? Or how many times can you turn it on for rest? Doesn't say. I, th I, th I think it's an unlimited number of times that you can turn it on. Yeah, right. it says bonus action to speak to the magic sword command yeah. word. So, so yeah, you can do that if you want, but you can also do anything else you want. Yeah, now I'll do that. We'll be my squawking against and then 20 on the hit. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay. And regular damage is five. Dead. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, folks. Good night. <laughs> Fire damage is three. Um, can I cut open her head and? Oh, oh. <laughs> Place an origami bird there. Well, Let's grab I... some of these extra leeches. Make some leech nipple rings for her <laughs> too. Oh, cut hang her by her leech nipple rings. <laughs> and I eat her brain. Why? Why? Bird thing. I don't know. <laughs> give, me, give me first of all. Give me animal handling to see if you are successfully able to uh, shatter the skull without actually smashing open the brain. What? Why would that be animal handling? Because, because she's an animal. <laughs> well, because you're you're skinny. I mean, you're, I get... you're, you're carving up a carcass, so it's animal handling. Okay. I apparently smash a skull for rock because I got an eight, so there's skull bits in the brain. Yes, yes, you're going to take some piercing damage from the skull bits if you want to eat it. All right. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I like try to like scoop around it. I guess if I could, but. Oh, so you 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 go for the un the for the under goodies. You're you're not you're, you're you'll you'll discard the top layer that has the shards protruding from. Yeah. It. Okay, so you get half I of the brain. The you, you, brain. Say you, you safely get half a brain. Roll con. It's more than what you had earlier. Yeah. Roll a con save. Eighteen. Oh, it's it's quite palatable. Surprisingly enough, it it does it does not poison you. <laughs> All right. Any, anyone else want to want to loot the rest of her? Uh, yeah, we 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 sure. we, sh, we sh, search them both for pouches, gold, whatever we can get. As much gold as you can possibly carry, because they rule the fucking kingdom. It's it's whatever yeah, the fuck you did want. They yeah. really yeah. carry it. Uh huh. I would assume that most of their money is in a vault somewhere. Nope, she swallowed it. She is the vault. She's oh. the Vanderhob. <laughs> Cut her open, man. Mm -hmm. All right. Cut her open. Cut her open. Cut her, cut her open. It, it, it's a void inside. It's like a donjon. So just a bag of holding. Effectively, holding. Pretty much. Effectively. And we yeah. all become crushed under the weight of the gold that suddenly <laughs> fills the torture chamber. What a way to go. <laughs> But of course, uh, but yeah, so congratulations, you did it. Good luck getting the fuck out of here, but we'll resolve that at a different date. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll have enough gold to pay our way out of here. The rulers are dead. We're taking over. We've got the whole gold in the kingdom that spilled I, out of her. You know what I would do? I would take off the head of the kid and be like, bow to your new rule. Hollow it out, turn it oh, into oh, a oh, helmet. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I, like, I, like, I like where Carol's head is. Hi, and I'm it, Holly Feldersnatch. <laughs> <laughs> the era of Feldersnatch is over. No more snatches. <laughs> Here we go. Wow. We're taking over this kingdom. It, the king is dead. Long live the king. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Is the, join, join us next week when we will go against the uh, Death to Torga campaign. <laughs> oh, hey, you live no, long Farga enough to be become a, a villain. Farga would be a benevolent ruler. 
You live long enough to see yourself become yeah, yeah. <laughs> alcohol for everyone. Is that toddler not holding a beer? Force it down his throat. <laughs> no, 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 no. Consent. Power doesn't corrupt. Power reveals. All right, but no, thanks, guys. Uh, we'll do a quick final thought. Uh, everyone, uh, start with David. Uh, Blake, it was fun. I enjoyed it. This was my first time having you uh, DM for me, and <coughs> yeah, you were great. Oh, how, how, was, uh, how, how, uh, how we felt your snatch? The snatch felt good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kyle. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> it was good. Yeah, no. Uh, it reminded me of the train robbery that I ran for some of these people earlier. And so I tried to be a streamline because they weren't for me. Hopefully it worked better for you. Hey, I I tried. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I tried to, try to get us going, but Yeah. Uh, I was, was going to say I'm like first first line was I'm like maybe if you go to the tavern someone will help you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes. That's the that. obvious one. That's clearly the most difficult thing that was going to happen. No, I'm going to take out my flask and start drinking. <laughs> but uh, hey, are you a guard? <laughs> Fuck you. thoughts? <laughs> did you did you have an enjoyable time at least? No, nah, it's fine. I mean, there's a lot more to the city that would have been cool to see, but obviously time restraints. Also, I'm pretty sure it's just whenever we play together. Are you trying to blame this on me now? No, no. whoa. Kyle runs the game. It was so long, but now I'm starting to think it's not just him. <laughs> that makes Woo! it so long. Yeah. She hit my, she stole my final thought, damn it. It's like, hey, hey, Kyle, you're not the only one in the runs way over. It just much. goes to show that some of us fresher DMs have better ideas that really fill out the time and i was going to say i'm like okay i could have i could have ended it at 10 it's like okay nothing happened today you have a good night guys you're <laughs> right nothing uh, happened honestly this would have been a good deep lore everybody wants to explore even more i learned more about bander hobs than i cared to so yeah <laughs> no all right so my actual thought is this actually would have been a really good campaign it was yeah Especially thinking about doing like the whole, the, the actually the worst part of the whole thing about doing the whole Robin Hood thing and, and stretching it out was I was thinking, there's all those fights I'm not going to be able to do. You know, <laughs> I would rather play all that out and, and for, you know, progress and not do it in a two hour, you know, yeah. or two and a half hour time slot. Boy, yeah. I mean, it was, it was a good plot though. I thought it was a good, really good premise. And I think we did eventually figure out how to you know at least get there i mean there are definitely times i think we could have probably been a little bit more efficient but no that's yeah. not a way we know let's be real <laughs> like, <laughs> so getting across the, getting across the uh thing took a bit of time and getting us back together took a bit of time but otherwise no it was it was i thought the the said the premise and the scenario itself was was very solid yeah. And just it, thank you. And, and just as a just as a little bit of what the intention was, if you would have gone to Madam uh, the Madam's organ, mm -hmm. uh, you would have discovered that that doesn't exist. But right across the street was Madam Zorga's, uh, who was a mystic uh, who had passed away, and she had a deck of many things. <coughs> oh oh no. wow! No, no, uh, with, 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 with one no. card, with one card. And uh, that would have. Would that have been a wish? It would have. Yeah. Yeah, I know. That was one that's like a wish, but then there's, there's no, two. That no, no, no. You said there was only one three card rolled, in it. We rolled that it was a wish. But you didn't know that. Oh, it was one card. Oh, so you didn't have the John John. You didn't have the, the, the campaign breakers in there. Yeah. <laughs> so that, that, that was the intention. Could you have gone to the med You know, that's how we, we can continue this is that, you know, we do get the, the card 
or whatever, and then I don't know somehow build it into. Well, and, I, and yeah, ultimately the fight was going to be if you would have wished for what your intent, what your goal was, or if you would, if one of you would have been selfish and turn on each other. Gotcha. That was, that was the intention. I wish to have a Pegasus so we could fly together. That, that was the intention of how it was supposed to go, but I nice. it went a different direction. Very. Uh, and still still kept it interesting but all right nice. thank you guys uh we're gonna get off here because uh, like they said we're way too fucking late it's thursday yeah. some of us have school in the morning some of us don't uh, follow us on twitch follow us on twitter uh saturday we're running to cacophony i think uh so tune yes. in for that same bat time same bat place uh you want to seat at the table you want to see on a tuesday show you want to do anything uh hit us up well again all the links fucking below uh, aside from that, from all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., uh, bye. Have a good night, guys. Wash your hands. Bye. And, and bye. <laughs> Thank you for watching MHITV. This concludes our broadcast.